Name the trees, talking movies. Talking movies, everything from porno to animal bestiality movies, and now uh, heat. <laughs> Well, let's say hi to everybody. This is the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. We got lots to do today. Good, Good morning, morning to everybody. Dave what? in Iowa will start the program with a question. Dave, what's up? Hey, uh, I'm from Iowa. Pretty new, you know, listener to XM and you guys. I love your show. And uh, I'm about your age, I think. And I was just wondering, I love what you guys talk about, but I never hear you guys talk about sports. We need to talk so about sports. I was wondering... Sports. Well, you know, I, I like you know, I like to hear a little sports now and then. I was just wondering what your guys' take was on sports or what your teams are. And stuff. Well, a little upset that uh, Canada upset the uh, American uh, team in the uh, World Baseball Classic. Is anybody watching the World no. Baseball Classic? No, no one even, cares. Not even for four and now we got to play like fucking what South Africa, but we could be knocked out even before uh, we play the game. Like, how is yeah. America? Fucking up baseball because well, we don't isn't that our sport? Sport? no, yeah. no we not. invented it, but that's not. But that it's all like Dominicans us. and friggin' uh, Japs and everybody else. Now the uh, Japs aren't as good as the Americans. Yes, they, they get are. the occasional uh, great Jap because they're, no, they're little. See, in J in Japan, everything is scaled down the to hand Japanese can be used size. With a knife. And Japanese size when they're their size, yeah, they're phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, but but they scale everything down in Japan. So you, you know, you see these guys hitting uh, these crazy you get like a Matsui or something, and, and you realize you know the left field wall is only a hundred feet away. <laughs> <laughs> but the ones that the one, <laughs> like mini mini baseball, mini parks. The ones that are great though, are, are gr that kid in Seattle yeah. is he's fantastic. The ones that are great uh, are great. There's not enough Asians in the major league. They love league, the so. game though. They love the game. But the World Over Baseball Classic, no one gives a shit. How could like Africa have a team? That is what is getting me. It's like we got to play Africa. Well, motherfuckers could just swing a stick, and they do that goofy cricket shit. Is they, cricket oh, is the dumbest? That's true. I see them playing sometimes in Brooklyn. They're like parks all over Brooklyn, the and there they are sport I've ever playing seen. cricket. It's like reverse softball. You ever see bitches? It's, it's like three swings. And, it's like, what did he just do? Is that an oar? Yeah, this motherfucker's playing with a... What the fuck y'all doing? Like an oar. Yeah. And, and can't you stay at bat for like a week or something? It's the worst. Like, when do you like give up the bat to somebody else? I don't know. Don't even call because I don't give a shit. happy with your performance. I don't need that knowledge in my head. <laughs> That's why other countries hate us so much. Every sport that's significant, we invented, and they want so bad for soccer to be significant, and, and it won't be. No, no not it's, not in this country. Seven billion people watch the World Cup of soccer. It's Paris. like you know what? Minus three hundred and fifty million in this country, right, and right. that's what counts, asshole. Americans don't. The only people that watch soccer are the people that tie their country's flag to their Toyota Corolla. <laughs> uh, whenever that soccer, why don't you just say the Puerto World Rican? Cup. Why, why Puerto Rican and Brazilians and also and Dominicans because I. Seen that Brazilian flag with a planet on it or something? I don't know what the fuck that is. Don't talk about my tie. baby's flag. I no, I understand. Yeah, there's a soft spot in your heart. Don't disrespect. A soft spot in his heart and a hard spot in his pants for Brazil. That's Patrice. But they have the best bikinis. So. Those Brazilians. Oh, with you, the bikini wax. You leave my baby's ugly green, yellow, or whatever. With it is. stars what and like it's star. It's like a planet. It is like some kind of a a flag. That Ed Wood would have in a movie that the aliens would plant on Earth when they got here. It's an outer space flag. Leave my babies alone. Uh, Leave them alone. You know, I'm telling you something. It's weird that this country really is the only significant country. In yeah. it, it really is. We don't care about we're, anything else. We're like, you go, Chow Young Fat, who I love, right? Uh -huh. But even before, but it's Chow Young Fat, he's the number one Asian celeb. Is he really? Is yeah. he the number one Asian superstar? That's great. Never heard of the motherfucker. Who, when he comes here, he plays a plumber as in an extra. <laughs> as <laughs> Until he starts making movies like Jackie Chan, <laughs> Falani, blah 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 blah. He's the biggest Bollywood star nope. ever. <laughs> Who? What is? What is that? We look at we, whatever. We, the Oscars were just on, and we look at the best foreign films, and we're like, "Who? Who cares?" I'm sorry, what? I don't care. And this guy, you know, put his life into this. <laughs> it's his his life. He is Spielberg in his country. Who wants to watch an Asian movie without karate? Right. They're trying to pump up these Asian horrors. These Asian 
Asian love stories. They fucking or, suck. Yeah. Asian horror movies, they're so good, we got to always remake them. they got to be remade here so they can be scary. <laughs> From the makers of the Tachi Hakatomis. <laughs> the Ring. The Ring. Directed by the Steven ring. Spielberg, so it's watchable. <laughs> Originally called Wu Chaka Taka. <laughs> you have to see The Grudge. <laughs> All right. I'll see you when it's The Grudge. There's a, and nobody, I'm telling you, basketball is the best. We just invented every sport that's interesting. Yeah. We invented. There's not one other sport that was invented someplace else that the world curling. Watch. <laughs> oh, wow, is that limited? Hey, Dave, there's your sports talk. How like your it? sports talk? Thank How do we you. do? I appreciate it. Hey, well, what's your favorite sport there, Dave? I'd have to say college football. College Good football. man. That's an odd thing. Good man. Not at all. College There's football's a great sport. There's too much College shit. football is so much more exciting than the NFL. Yes. Too much shit oh, to well. keep track of. <laughs> when you get a score of 78 to 43, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> College football is a great sport. Could you give sport, me an man. estimate on how many college teams there are? Uh, probably uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> a couple more than that, Opie. I don't know. I that, was, exactly. Like how many, Division One? I, I don't know. A hundred and something. Division One. That's I'm, just it. There's too many goddamn teams to worry about or wonder about. Who? No one knows the players. Really? You, 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 you do. No, you do. You, you do. do when you they're do. ready to be drafted. That's when you know them. Well, you know, you've known like Reggie Bush since he was a fucking. Who? Reggie Bush. I, and if you don't know who the fuck Reggie Bush is, stop talking about college football. Like, don't even say saying. it. Don't have an opinion on college football, Anthony. If you don't know who the fuck Reggie Bush is. I don't Anthony, know who Reggie Bush is. If you is. take a peek at college football games, you you know, you would at least know enough where it'd be interesting. I've seen it. It looks like you see it for five seconds as you're going to the this, freaking history channel. This motherfucker don't know who Reggie Bush And he's like, you can't have an opinion about... Anything if you don't say if Reggie Bush is college football. Is I can see. I don't know because I keep no tabs on college football at all. It doesn't. Well, and sports in general don't interest you except for like the Yankees. Yeah, there's a few things. How can you stay home so much and not be in the sports? I play Tiger Woods golf on the computer. <laughs> I watch the PGA the every Sunday. Is, what's wrong with y'all, man? What the fuck? I watch the, the most PGA. unacceptable sport ever invented is yeah, golf. I I, I'm an Islander fan. I'm a Knicks fan. I'll always be a Knicks fan. See, I, I'm not going to jump on to another team. It's a good gauge of, a of how fan. badly or good a team is doing. If I know, because even I know, and I can't stand basketball. Mm -hmm. I know the Knicks stink. Well, they're one See, of the worst teams you live in, in New NBA York this year. Yes. It transcends that they stink. No, I could not know a lot of things about sports. I know I'm getting older because I know basketball. Like when they did the, uh, I was against the, the the dress code at first, and then it's like one day I seen like Eddie Eddie. Uh, What's the guy's name? The center that they drafted from, they got from Chicago. Oh, uh, Eddie. I have no idea. <laughs> Eddie, uh, whatever like Eddie's I name would, is. Like I would know. <laughs> but, but him in a suit, I actually was listening to him as if he was a... Like a regular like a, guy, like a Like a, a gentleman and a, and a scholar. Like yeah. He was like, all right, I enjoy listening to this motherfucker in a, in a suit. Because watching these just tattoos on your neck and... Uh -huh. It just... I, some about, I'm getting old, I think. It's, it's like, that shit was the shit when I was... You know, a kid like yeah, yeah. rebellion. But I'm like, oh, yeah. let's see all this. Hey, I gotta jump in here because Trucker Stu has a comment. Trucker Stu. Trucker Stu. I had hey, some of that last free. night for dinner. What's up, Stu? Uh, hate to tell you this, Patrice, but the Americans did not invent basketball. It was a Canadian. He was down in Boston College teaching, and he's the one who invented it. Oh, good. Uh, well, that's fair. What? Uh, 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 stupid. What's he his did, name? Dr. Naismith. Naismith, Naismith, Naismith was actually sports. Canadian. But he was yeah, in he Boston. Was, but let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be fair here. Let's be fair. I, I know that's like, and I, and God bless you for having. Wait, wait, was he really a Canadian? Though? But I don't know. But if, but it, I bet you he was just because this this guy had a chance to say that. It, yeah. He, he, it was it's useless information. No one knows it. And mm -hmm. he's like, I get to share that. I know the name. Uh, I know the Canadian Heritage uh, commercial they have. They talk about great Canadians and. That's one of the ones. They sounds it. like a stupid Canadian it, it, game it, it, on the outset. When you think some guy fair. tacking an old apple basket up on a pole yeah. uh, and throwing a, a melon into it or something. <laughs> that sounds like some Canadian, Canadian yeah. fucking game, you know? <laughs> We're just having fun, eh? I, I, 
but to you be need fair, something to do in the summer, you know, and nothing's iced over for curling. <laughs> you know, let's get a basket, put it on a pole, eh, and we'll throw like a melon into it or something. If I get more melons than you, I'm the winner. All right, what great. What you say about my mama, eh? Do I have to dunk it on your fucking head, eh? Yeah, I don't think they were dunking. There was a lot of layups. <laughs> and to be fair to that Probably guy. didn't even have a backboard at first. We, he's from Canada, but we've claimed him. We, he's, yeah. yeah, it's an American you know, sport. He's an American now. Yeah, he's Invented a, by an American. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we took that we, we took that away from you. Give me that shit. All right, Dave, there's your sports talk. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, what do you think? Better. Like all right. I'm I'm you I'm think like a... Neil Young is Canadian? No, we kind of took him. Nah, he's... We took him from <laughs> anybody. You. Tell everybody listening anyone on... that's good. Tell everybody listening on XM Canada. Neil Young's not yours. We're sorry. <laughs> we took we, that we, we motherfucker. Took, we took Neil Young. Rush and we took Rush. Rush from is you. ours. We took Rush. <laughs> French fries ain't France <laughs> right. no more, motherfucker. It's America. <laughs> we took it. Give me that shit. Good <laughs> idea. We want it. <laughs> We've colonized. It's just a matter music. of time before we blow off the Canadian national anthem at the hockey games down uh, here. Yeah, uh, why not? Uh, oh, Canada. <laughs> and now they're trying to get. Like soulful black girls are singing, and it's just as bad. Oh, oh. Can you hold are they trying hey. that with the same thing oh. they did with the American national anthem? Trying to get trying like to soul it up, you're trying to soul it up, and rock it up. Uh, awful, Keith uh. in Minnesota. Keith, yeah, you guys are asking how many college football teams there are. I would guess 112. That's that's exactly right. Come on, you are an asshole. Come on, it was Come written on, on the it phone. To me. Give it to no. me, guys. No, why? why? It says Keith from Minnesota. And there are 112 college football teams in the subject line. <laughs> <laughs> I will not accept your answer, okay. cheater. You're a but, cheater. But that's one of the that's one of the reasons why I got exempt because they play all the good college football teams like like Iowa and stuff. And, oh, uh, all right, very a lot good. of people I'll are into it. In. Of course, but college uh, uh, football is great. Yeah, uh, 30 I'm here. years. Well, I don't March know Madness it, is about to begin, and uh, I'm, I love college uh, basketball as well. White boys, two white boys, not even an argument. This year hey. on who the greatest player in the game is right now in college. Two white boys are up for it. No Negroes are up for it. How y'all feel wow. about that? And two American white boys. Um, I can't God say that. God bless you, fellas. God I, bless you. I hate to tell you, but the whites are taking over basketball again. No, the Russian white boys. The, the, they're the white still boys white. Eastern or, blocks. That's what. That's right. You're taking them. They're more you're white. Absolutely. They're so low. They so are racist. ours that's now. That's right. So racist. That's you're taking for right. right. That's right. You we're, we're taking back the NBA, baby. You've taken foreign white boys. <laughs> we're going back to the 50s when it used to be underhand shots and shit. Now, if you take foreign and the white boys. shot from 30 feet out. <laughs> Sports the coming music, back to us, baby. And the music baby. was going. <laughs> and the real, the real tight shorts. <laughs> that's right. Wait a minute. You guys had a good run in the you NBA. You have to but, go but against this country that's if right. you accept... The white boys that 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 are good now in the in the, hey, in the NBA, the got, stars in the NBA who are white, they're not from this country. So you have to denounce America. The like, well, what about the black guys in baseball that aren't from America? Who? Well, a lot of those I, guys, are Dominicans. What, uh, Guerrero, Vlad Guerrero, but they're Dominicans. They, they don't. No one accepts. They don't accept America. They tell America to kiss their ass. What's the dude? You think the Russian uh, basketball players are loving America? I bet you they be it's better than fucking uh, Germany, wherever the fuck wherever they from. come from. Yeah, you, you guys are losing Old out. Eastern Bloc countries, and it's only going to get worse. No, get out of here. There's a lot of boys from the Eastern Bloc coming over to play in the They're NBA. They're very now. good, but the the best the players in the NBA are still black. It's, I will it's, it's, crush you. It's, it's, LeBron James is ten times so better than the Croatia, next best baby. white boy. Croatia. Drago. It's the, it's the <laughs> white. Be playing. Dirk Nowinski is the best white boy in the league, or maybe Steve Nash. He's from Canada, by the way. But LeBron is ten times better than Steve Nash, who is the best, arguably the best white boy in the game now. Mm. But LeBron has a little white in him, so what? He's not Michael Jordan black. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> fuck are you talking about? A little white in that. There's a little white in that white in that. <laughs> Is that guy? <laughs> that motherfucker's oh. agent is Jay Z. You can't get more hood. <laughs> Jay Z's his agent. <laughs> man, wait, is Jay Z really his agent? His, his management oh, team. Shit. Wow, he's under, he's under Rockefeller management. That rock. Nice. When, when you see him do the little diamond like at the dunks, it's just his day. What's up, Jay Z? And Jay Z owns the the, the Jersey Nets. Right. Jay Z did this. Jay -Z's a, yeah, Le LeBron's he's a, a mogul. <laughs> he's a mogul. But, but the Eastern Bloc, uh, the and the, you accept the, the white, white boys. White Trump's black always. Got it. Just white. skin color. <laughs> no, just take it. Just take it. Yeah, white. white. When it comes down to it, honestly, what are you gonna do? in the end, I don't give a shit. I just like watching a good <laughs> NBA game.
I love LeBron James, actually. He's, How can you not? He's amazing. How can you not love LeBron? <laughs> he's what? He's, he's still only 18 and a half or something. It's something, it's something no, I'm so he's, jealous. Is he finally 20 years old? He's 21. <laughs> I'm really, is he really jealous. 21 now? He's 21. Yeah, he's been in the league almost. I think this is fourth year in the league. Or something. No, 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 no. Or third, third, third or fourth. This could, no, not. I well, he came in the league the same third. time with. Um, Even third, third is ridiculous. His third year in the league. What were you doing and at he's that age? Average. And, you, yeah, they were recruiting. jerking off. I, I working at a sausage stand. <laughs> See a little little known fact about me because we don't talk about it much on the show. I love basketball. I love the NBA. Oh yeah. And the thing about LeBron James, they were recruiting this guy. I knew about LeBron James when he was 15 years old. They were already uh -oh. talking that he was going to chatting be... on the internet. Were you <laughs> meet behind a 7-Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they were already talking that he was going to be an a NBA superstar when he was 14, 15 years old. Yeah. He's 6'8". They had it, they had it like, you know... When Dribbles he, like a guard. When he was playing high school basketball, they had to take it out of the regular gym because everyone knew about him back then, and they had to move him, move the high school home games to arenas. Really? Three high school champions. He's, a, he's an animal. Wow. And it sickens me. He's worth $200 million. And he's setting all the records already. He bugs me. He bugs me so good. At 21, I was still a year away from living in my car. At, at <laughs> I hadn't even attained the loneliness of living in my car yet. And, and, there was, and not shit. one point at 14 did anybody look at me and go, you know something? You're going to be good at something. <laughs> yeah, no. You're going to be the next. I would have been happy to be the next motherfucker who invented the new Crayola crayon color. Something. That motherfucker's going to invent um Key lime green. He's going to do yeah, it. It's going to be him. <laughs> it's going to be him. Patrice, he's great. We, did you ever get anything in school where, you know, you hear people that got uh, to school and their counselors told them, y I think you're best suited for this, or you really could achieve in this, or we've looked at your test and you're most likely to succeed in this. That I never got that. What I got was, you're a funny guy. And that was it. That's where it ended. If they interview Anthony Cumia's teachers, you are doing exactly what they thought you were. What they thought is, I would do. It's the same thing with me. Oh, um, figures. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's doing that. Figures. Making jokes. Is that what you do? You make jokes and make fun of people and each other? That's cute. That's good. <laughs> when, <laughs> and when I was a kid, I'm in there like in a... Real I remember noble being in cause, a, cause, Yeah, pussy. noble cause. You're really changing the world. When I was in, like in sixth grade, they brought everybody in to the uh, guidance counselor because I guess it's sixth grade. You're supposed to reach that point where you kind of have a... Uh, a personality. You're not quite a, a, a child, but you're not a real person yet. But you're at that point where maybe they can figure out what you want to do and start you in that direction. And they brought uh, me no, in. But all you want to do at that age was jerk off. That's pretty much it. You're not thinking about your Just future jacking. at 12. No one knows. Yeah, but LeBron You're was. Ten times a day oh, he was. Point. See, he was. <clears throat> he was thinking about his future. And there are people like I talked about in the past, like you know, fighter pilots that were thinking about it then. Or the that, Google, you know, or and the they Google had, guys. They had their life like set up. Yeah, they knew. Like Bill Gates, he knew he was soldering shit together in his garage and making a computer or something with his pals. You know, I was there. I, I'm playing with like plastic dinosaurs. And, arr, you know, in my room, building models or something like that, and had no clue what I wanted to do. They asked me, and I sat there like an idiot going, um, <laughs> an astronaut? <laughs> Just because I figured I had to say what something. Am I gonna, what am I going to do? I went to and they're college. like, good, good, you need math. You'll need math. And then they start writing things down to what I need. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to be an astronaut. Yeah, no, you ruined it for me. I, I want to go in space, and yeah. now i got to do math. I yeah. would never tell a kid to go to college. College is... <laughs> It's a it's an excuse to be a bum. Like I knew when I turned 17, 18 years old, yeah. I should be out. Right. And I just like went to college. So I can go, Mom. Look, I'm still going to college, and I'm doing this. It teaches you nothing. Nah. But how to go out and be unhappy. It's the dumbest fucking thing. It's how in the to world. be broke. How to be broke. How to be unhappy. <laughs> and how to like how to how to hide your sorrow that you're broke and unhappy with alcohol and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that. Let's uh, say hi to Mike in Jersey. Mike, what's up today? Yeah, I want to ask Patrice a question. Go ahead. Why does he think black guys never made it in any kind of auto racing? And so I think, from what I understand, uh, I think Bill Burr told me this, is that that is a, it, is a tremendous white guy's thing is auto racing. It's like a, it's, it has its roots in moonshine and driving from the cops, and it's a yeah. real yeehaw kind of thing. I, it just, I don't think... I don't think it, we we just is this, there was no place to get into that in the inner city. There's no place to where where we could we develop yeah. that. And oh, another thing of why 
my theory is that we we got basketball. Why we're so good at it is because it, it's a very cheap. Oh yeah, thing I was going to say do. that. The Need a ball and the courts are all over and, the place. And any hole, not just yeah. a fucking hoop, but they used to make motherfuckers stand with their arms out. Uh, you know, oh, who is and, that and, poor bastard and, and, that had and, to do that? And stand with or or a crate. But that's why, like hockey, black people, people like, oh, the they, they, uh, uh, niggers' butts is too high and the ankles are weak. <laughs> they don't like the cold. It's <laughs> it's the fact they that they don't like the cold. <laughs> they don't like cold. They have weak ankles <laughs> and high butts. And 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 the reason we didn't play is because oh. you first of all your dad had to get up. At five in the morning, and that's if dad, dad was around. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Your dad is good. True, yeah, yeah. No it's, black dad is getting up at five in the morning to go rent a hockey rink. There's a big father it's, it's a son very expensive thing. It's an sport. expensive sport to yeah. play, and it is a father son thing. Like it's usually the father hooking the kid up not really. with all we, the gear and we everything. We get just a bunch of guys together, and we'd go to the rink at like three in the morning. That's when you I mean, like as hockey. a kid, when you want to start out, if you're going to be a pro. Something like that, because I think that's what we're talking about. I don't, really like, think, I, I don't think it was a father-son sport. No way, man. It was in Canada with all the frozen lakes, and you just did what you did with your buddies. Right, did, you got a bunch it, of your no, 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 buddies I, together, and you found a piece of ice and said, well, let's uh, no, screw I, off for I a while. I understand like, how that would be, but he, here in America, in right. order to... I think if you asked a majority of the professional American hockey players, it started out... I don't think there were a lot of single moms raising them. I think it started out with a father mm -hmm. that would go to the rink early with his son because you need a rink, uh, build one in his backyard. I right. know I've heard a few uh, people have done that in the northern uh, uh, states, something like that. <laughs> and I think you uh, brought up a good point there. Well, this one, of... the NASCAR question, I just is like thinking about it. You go where? Where could most any? It, it, you got to have a car. Yeah. And and second of all, you got to be. The, the black guys that do do it, I guess it might be one. I think it's one or two, man. Yeah, there've been a uh, couple. And you have to deal gotta with be one in every sport. rednecks, man. You gotta fucking to this day probably gotta fight like some civil rights shit to get a nigga to drive and and, and you know and then motherfuckers trying to drive him and kill him against the wall or whatever. It's just, it's an expensive thing, but that's why we play. We're, we're good at baseball, good at basketball, and you good at because uh, it's cheap sport. It's the cheap sport. Yeah. Well, let's go to Chad in Virginia Beach. Chad, two, man. Chad, go. Hey. The reason there's no black guys in NASCAR is you can't put 26 inch spinners on a. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dick. You don't even need to finish oh, that asshole. 26 inch spinners. You have to put spinners yeah. on your NASCAR. You don't want to have go. rims on your. Oh, fuck NASCAR. off. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, they're, they're... Every lap they get pulled over and harassed by the police. <laughs> 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 That's only, the only one we're going to have is license. Sorry, sir. It's That's like, what, what the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> I do now. His insurance car at the pit stop. <clears throat> yes, yes, this is valid. Uh, sir, you want to step out of the vehicle, please? I'm strapped in here. <laughs> got a five-point harness. All right, Lee, are you ready? Ah, oh, man, I got to put my hand uh, on the hot hood. <laughs> okay, back away from the vehicle. Could you just back away with your hands on your head, please? <laughs> Is there a passenger? No, there's no passenger. I'm racing here. Well, right. It's nothing but a cage. Then all the other white boys are rubbernecking. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they told us to done something wrong. <laughs> the Daytona 500 is over. The announcer has to announce that the black guy finally completed one lap. <laughs> <laughs> the police pulling a mower. I think I'm in the lead. <laughs> look, I'm in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Pull him over to the side. Pull him over to the side. Is there a problem? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're doing 182. <laughs> yeah, but that white boy was just doing 215. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I pulled you over. <laughs> There's some racial profiling going on. No no, 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 no. You were speeding. Although, Jeff Gordon's like, I think Leroy got weed in his car. <laughs> what? Um, sir, I'm smelling marijuana in your vehicle. Could you step out? Do you mind if I search the vehicle for drugs? This is some bullshit. All right, sir, put your face on the top of the car, please. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking cars are going around. The guy's being tased on. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit! Oh see what the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> Niggas in a NASCAR adjusting his rearview mirror. Oh what? Is that me? <laughs> Is there a problem, officer? Damn! I thought I was safe out here. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 
Oh, Chris, shit. Let's say hi to Chris in Canada. Chris, what's up? Oh, what's hey, up? how are you guys doing? You guys are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Well, see, they can't get the afro underneath the helmet, so, uh, you know, it's pretty shitty. But... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Okay. Well, we did make fun <laughs> of Canada, so I guess, you know, you got you to give it to all. Go ahead, Joe Chris. Gibbs has got, got the, the thing going on, Drive for Diversity. They got uh, at least four African American drivers, and they put them in pit crews, everything else. They're they're coming into the sport big. They're they're paying their way, and it should be a good uh, good thing. They got uh, commercials on NASCAR.com and uh, on NASCAR 166 for uh, who the, the the young black kids heroes are in NASCAR. All right, there you go. Someone cool. says there's only uh, only two black racers in history. McFly, what a, uh, the trucker. Uh, no, there's more than two, but the the two that are the most prevalent were Wendell Scott back in the 1950s, who were admired by a lot of those rednecks that Patrice is talking about. Richard Pryor, there's a Richard Pryor movie, right? Right, exactly, was, yeah. and and also those Bill Lester in the uh, Craftsman Truck Series. There was a guy in the 80s. There was a guy in the 80s uh, that used to race too. I think it was NASCAR. Might have been uh, Indy though. It probably was Indy, but that doesn't ring a bell to me. But anyway, punch it out. Thank you, buddy. And NASCAR don't like the Indy guys. It's a big rivalry there. This is a really, see, yeah. that's interesting, man. Like I the didn't exposed know that. wheels are bad, and the fenders are good if you're a redneck. Are you serious? And they, yeah, like the NASCAR guys look at Indy race and like, yeah, goddamn, where are you going, Billy Bob? Tonight? You're going to Indy race? Yeah, yeah. It's like Frag a big it. joke. Yeah, fag it. Well, let me ask like you that. this: How it is a this is a this is a this is a, a question I have to take back to the black community. Okay, we like All to right. know. <laughs> All right, how is one motherfucker better than another at uh, pushing a pedal? How do you become the oh, best damn. car driver? Now we're gonna have to talk about it for about a half hour to forty five minutes. I don't. How do you become? A, how's Jeff Gordon a name when I can push a fucking pedal as you, good as Jeff Gordon? Do you can? think you could push a pedal and keep it on the track and pass other motherfuckers pushing pedals like that? I do in New York every day, nigga. <laughs> you, you Big no deal, one, NASCAR. <laughs> you gotta know when to, uh, to hit hit the pits. You gotta know when to pass. You gotta Big know team all that effort. Shit. Yep. You gotta know when to draft. Went to, yeah, went to go around him. It's but better that, to be in second. But that's technique. Yeah. We're talking about how well, do you Isn't everything it? technique and finesse and stuff? A lot of these guys are Once also... Get a good pit crew that know how to make the car run, you know, at, at uh, high performance. Yeah. A lot of the successful guys, too, now are, you know, born into it. These are guys that are born into... Uh, their fathers did it. You know, their fathers are on the <laughs> crews or on... Uh, they were drivers themselves. And they get into it that way. I think it's pretty hard for just some a lot of muck fucking to come cheating up and in, go. in NASCAR. Big time cheating. Yeah, they yeah, banging a lot of cheating, a lot of bullshit they ain't supposed yeah, to be doing, and they do. Shut they up. To call foul. It's like any other sport. <laughs> he fouled them. <laughs> Everyone's cheating. Everybody cheats. Not Barry Look at Bonds. baseball. Barry Bonds didn't cheat. Oh, don't even get that started. Barry that started Bonds shit. That, the Barry does not. Do Your stuff. boy was oh. jealous of Mark McGuire. Yep, that's what's coming out now in another book. That's what he. That's uh, what they're saying. Written by who? In Mark McGuire and who else? No, some other guy. He who wrote was, that book. That by the way, that was jealous of me. Written by Mark McGuire. <laughs> here's, here's the story. Epilogue, Babe Ruth's son, Jimmy Roof. Here's the Barry Bonds story. <laughs> the hits just keep on coming from Barry Bonds. <laughs> a new Get book it? documents the baseball slugger's alleged steroid use dating back to 1998. Two San Francisco Chronicle reporters wrote a book called Game of Shadows. They say their two-year investigation includes court papers, grand jury testimony, and documents written by federal agents. Bonds, of course, is one of the baseball's all-time leading home run hitters, could become number one this season, and he denies knowingly using steroids. He refuses to read the book. The authors, though, stand by their work. We have very good sources and very good people we've talked to, uh, both providing us information about, about Bonds as well as... Uh, Again, documents from the Balco case, and we, we'd like to think it is a definitive accounting of not only what he used, but why he used it, and, and uh, um, to the extent that he used it. And again, Bond says he won't read the book, saying simply, there's no need to. There you go. Yeah, no need to. He was I, using I lived steroids. It. Why the hell do I have to read it? He was using steroids just like all the rest of them. You gotta think most of these freaking guys were using steroids when yeah, they were able to get I'm away. Actually, with it. I actually believe 100% that Barry Bonds. Dude, look how steroids. big his head is. Your head doesn't get that big. <laughs> he was a skinny motherfucker. There's something came. going on. But look there. at Mark McGuire when he came in the league. That motherfucker. I'm not. But why isn't he? Why no one? No one is fucking with Mark McGuire about the steroids. 
No. He's not. No one's on Mark Aguirre about that shit. No one's trying to taint his record. No one's trying. He was a big, pimply, roided up dude, man. Of course he was. And his record has been beat. So it's, why, not, why? Yeah, it's, it's not as big a deal. Wait, who's the Puerto Rican that's getting a fucking... Get, get, they're giving him a fistful, and he's not even Sosa. Not nah, Sosa just retired. Yeah. The, the the other dude that they hated, they the dude for Baltimore. Oh, oh come on, man. Uh, oh shit, Palmero. Pa Palmero. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Of like, course. Why? What, why was he like so? Why were they on him hard? They're not even on Barry as hard. Barry could break Babe Ruth's record, and they're not on Barry as hard as they could be. They're not. I don't get who they decide is the fucked up Roy guy and who's not. You know what I mean? It's like uh, 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 Mark McGuire. What they should be questioning that seventy? Question it. They should be questioning Solstice sixty six. They should really be questioning the fucking thing. You right. know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, what are you gonna do? Mm. What are you gonna? Whoa! What was that? Greg on Long Island. Yeah, hi. I just I was step just on your cat. They can't have the blacks in the pits because they take the tires off and they wouldn't put them back on. <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, here we go. Christ. Here we go. You know what's fucking hilarious? God bless these motherfuckers out there. It's never been a chance. No. Nah. That. that was not a today joke. <laughs> that was a fucking 10 years ago. Yeah. Right. It is like, no, that's I get to say this? I get that. Say I'm going to use the joke. That joke is in our DNA. <laughs> that, is, that joke is just born. That joke is the TV on the show. Shoulders running down the street that, joke. He gave birth to that joke. That joke. Push. That, that joke started when we uh, started rolling rocks. <laughs> when we realized you could roll a rock, that joke was invented. Holy shit. It's just like you can fit. They roll off so wonderfully. It's like he's been practicing it. <laughs> they take the wheels off and won't give them back, baby. Blah. All right. All right. We're going to break. We got lots to do. There's a a new video game that uh, they're up in arms over. Yeah, uh, like and does it have a lot of violence in it? Well, no. Well, just wait till you hear about yeah. that. We got Britney Spears pregnant again. Looks like oh. we got uh, a fellow uh, radio personality in a little bit of trouble. Well, she got fired. Got fired. She used to work here in New York City too. Darian O'Toole. Darian oh, got right. fired. Dude, yeah, we got audio. I just was on the fucking show. No way. I like that lady. She's very cool. She keeps in uh, touch with us and stuff. She and fucking likes you guys. They yeah. fucking get rid of everybody. That you and she has cancer, man. Darren has cancer. Yeah. Well, let well, me tell you. We got audio of her very drunk on the air. Very yeah. drunk. And ten minutes after her show, they said goodbye. Bye bye, fighter. So uh, it's. Uh, I don't even think the industry knows about this story yet. We we got a little inside thing on this one. All right. So this this is gonna pop, I think. But, no, uh, Opie was looking for a sound effect, not a dump button. Patrice, don't worry about it. Oh no, I was I I didn't have my the right template. To, uh, oh, I thought he was looking to dump it out because I said some no, fucking information. No, 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 oh, yeah. no. We've dumped once just because it was like personal I information. Somebody said a uh, a name. That was the only time we've dumped so far. Is Bill? Bill accused one of his professors uh, of drug abuse or something. I don't know, some kid touching. He kid I, it touched. Was it was some, some allegation some, that some, like. Fred Jackson. Dude. Yeah, and he uses his name, the school he was at. Right. It was like this big thing, and that was the only time he had a dump. And I don't even know if the dump worked. Bill's coming in to tell us what it was. We don't want to know what it was. Get out of here. Bill, without using his name, what was it? No, don't even no. say it. I, I swear to God, don't even say it. Just St. John the Baptist High School. No. No. no see, no. stop. Will you get him the fuck out of here? Pull right, Bill, him leave. out of here. Pull him you out of go. here. Bill, do you like working here? Because if that goes on the air, not only are we fired, this this place becomes a fucking Home Depot. <laughs> Poe bodily removed him. Phil doesn't understand. Oh, wow. Phil doesn't understand. Phil doesn't what I'm understand. The, the, the allegation he had was so ridiculous that we'd all be fired, and yeah. they would they would pretty much make this into like a Target or a Home Depot. Yeah. You ever read the uh, Stephen King book, The Stand? I hate Stephen King shit. Yeah. You ever read well, it? Well, no, I, had, I just did. I, I watch it on. I watch, I, you watch the lousy movies yeah, they make of it? Yeah, yeah, Bill is like Trash Can Man, who, who like, he, he's so crazy that even the devil himself knows he needs him, but even he is a little frightened of him and a little off and a little like, yes. I, I need this guy. 
but he is fucking out there. <laughs> and that's what Bill is. He's like trash can man. <laughs> Jesus, man. All right. It is frightening. He's a frightening entity to have around. He fucking got fired, man. Yeah, well, yeah. we'll the audio. I like that lady. We'll, we'll charge you the audio next. We also got to talk about American Idol because... Uh, some interesting observations there. Oh, uh, well, the guys were up last night. The guys a lot more entertaining this year than the girls. Yep. Uh, and again, another uh, the guy's gonna win it this stellar year. Stellar night. That ball headed rocker, man. That dude yeah, he's really good. Had he, a bit of an off night last night, but still kicked everybody. I'm getting so tired of fucking uh, uh, Simon's. His his honesty is dishonest. He, oh my think? God, we got. I think he's the only one we that's being honest. He's a, do you he's watch, a watch the show? Honest guy. He's a fucking Hold disingenuous. On. Hold on. Do you do you watch the show every night? I watch it. Every oven, I Dude, miss it sometimes. This is the first, uh, we've said this a few times, this is the first year I'm into American Idol and I'll go all the way to the end. I usually watch a couple weeks here and I was there, into it, it last year. Okay. I, I always uh, bought the hype that he was just a complete <laughs> ass for, uh, and just for no real reason. For the sake of being for, the ass you, for, guy. Right. But the more and more I watch, I'm like, he's the only honest guy there. The other ones are too scared to say what they're really thinking. He's saying, Paul Abdul <clears throat> has said maybe two negative things in a yeah, month. That's everyone's not, great. That is, that, you know what? That does not... And Ryan Seacrest, his whole job is to challenge Simon, and that is what's real phony. But, that, but you can tell that that is completely the producer's saying. And give it yeah, to look, Simon. Uh, right. That seems to be okay. working. But Simon Randy, hasn't been wrong yet. He had. See, here's the thing. This motherfucker does not. Cult, this is his. The problem with this I have with him. He's not cultivating talent. He's cultivating who is going. This a whole American thing. The other two cultivate talent. Patrice. They, they, oh my God. Listen. They, last night, man, that kid, the ball headed rocket kid, yeah. was excellent. He was all right. Mm -hmm. he, he I was, was even... excellent for he was he has it. He has a real some of them you go, he can sing, but yeah. when are we gonna watch this no motherfucker? Star quality. This guy, you can yeah. see him on stage performing. Yep. Okay? D Simon, instead of he he could go, hey man, you know what? I this motherfucker's good. You are good. But I it, find it kind of boring. It wasn't his best performance. <sighs> Patrice. I think so too, and I think he uh, was Simon being honest there. Gives props to maybe two a night. That's it, maybe three. Yeah. That's, but he can give props, he's to, props. The, to the ones that he no. should give props to. I'll tell you why. No. Because all those people, Paula, Randy, and Simon, they already know that it's gonna be like down to the four guys. They know and, who and, it's gonna be and already. And the rest of these guys are just filler. Yeah, the little country bitch with the Jesus drives. The what? Jesus take the yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. Thanks. So she did a special appearance, right? Yeah. And it's like he'll go watch her. She's a girl. She's the idol. Now she's good. If she her performance was as bad or as good as these bitches that's on now, Dude. but she's better. Uh -huh. She fucking sucks. Dude, she was singing her hit, Jesus hit country take single. the wheel. Now, that's the number one country song. Remember when we fucked around with her? That don't count. <laughs> and it's been the number one country song for like for like ten weeks. It's like being the the the, the fucking number one uh, orchestra hit. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Ah, she's awful. And and any country music fan who's a real country music fan will never say she's good. That the people who bought her thing of uh, uh, fly by night motherfuckers, real country people can, will never enjoy Jesus take the wheel oh. by that American Idol phony, and now she's a great performer. But dude, the reason it's he number, doesn't say she needs. Hold on, the reason it's number one in the country is because people are buying it. That shit, you know Th what? That, they're that, buying yeah. that. That doesn't count all, all, the, all the time. I understand, but if I mean, you know, but it's the number one song as far as country music goes. Yeah, someone's buying that, it. That's where your I argument is done. I don't know. I don't personally get it. I think the song stinks. And you think they're going to bash her? her? You know what her contract is? Probably so much money goes to American Idol's producers. Yeah, they are. And then the, the money that they are, the judges are paid with comes out of the production money. So it would be like money out of their pocket if they bash her. That's their cash cow right up there. They were I, looking at money. I think less, less the dog homie less that <laughs> yeah randy's the best judge on there i don't know i less think he's the, too less the fucking the doll yeah but Yo, he's home. too um, but he's, nice he's too even. nice because even when he knows how that there was a really bad performance in front of him he's always like you know uh, he but does he, that does a lot, say, like, he does say you, know, you suck and you know, you suck. a lot no, of times he barely could say it he's like yeah i just wasn't it was feeling like, that, uh, but you know you know uh, you, you were a little pitchy in the middle and i which is his 
version of saying you were horrendous, you were yeah, like, you were terrible. Yeah, a lot That's of times they're of saying a, it. A lot of times they're on the same uh, wavelength there, but yeah. they just have a different way of saying it. Oh my God, that mm. Simon bugs me, and it's not. It's, it's just. It's not real honesty. By the way, yeah. uh, Carrie uh, Underwood, Tom from Buffalo has some info. Tom, go ahead. Yeah, yesterday on uh, the CBS Morning Show. They had the announcement for the Academy of Country Music Awards. Carrie Underwood is up for four of them. <laughs> so she can't suck all that fast. She's like and a superstar peers, in the uh, genre oh, awards. Jesus. Hey. Her peers are the ones who nominated her for it. Hey, really? A little known fact, our, our big boss, Elo, is a huge uh, country fan. Oof. Elo. Patrice. Oh. I love you, but you're dead wrong. Oh. So you're a super country fan, so she's legitimately good. She's legit. She's from Oklahoma. She's legitimately good. She's the real deal. Wow. Elo, yeah. I'm telling you, all big right. country, country fan, country music fan. I mean, it, 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 I'm saying, all right, Elo, you like that song? I do like that song, actually. G Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> uh, I do. I Jesus do like this song. Take the wheel. Uh, hey, hey, Elo, how about Jesus take the scissors? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at that's all I wanted. I'm not a real country music fan. I was, I was, I was making a a, a, a throwing it out there statement that real country music fans. Elo, first of all, you you run a big corporation. Fuck, you're not a country music fan. I want some dirty uh, motherfucker yes. from <laughs> Shitsville to tell me that uh, Carrie Underwood is good. What's that? Hold on a second. I'll call my father. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the biggest uh, country programmers in America before. Who, Elo? Yeah, before you. Yeah. Uh, so she's he... just legit. All right, well, fair enough. Well, fair, I, fair enough, it's, man. Fair actually, enough. for five years, I was on the board of directors for the CMA. Actually, Fair enough. really. Actually, I, look, look. Okay, Jesus, this How guy about, is a pro, he's an I expert. The, I thought the achy break. Now, was the achy breaky heart guy good? Billy uh, Ray Cyrus. It's Cyrus. Cyrus, but it's, he's a horrible. No, he's now he's terrible. That was a one-hand right, wonder. She, that, was, to that, me, was, that was just that was just a bad line dance. I got a record right, on it. Right, so right. she yeah. is she is far beyond him. Elo, yeah, and, and, all right, fair you, enough. I mean, and again, I, we don't we don't want to turn this into Casey Kasem, but Elo, I, I why don't that. you why don't you tell everyone uh, who your friend in country music is? Uh, well, let's see. Well, actually, one of my closest friends is Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Yep. One of the biggest. Uh, Isn't that stars weird? Out a country there. star and, and, with the last way, name Urban. Keith Urban. That's it's, odd. It's, it's huh? Story. He <laughs> was got out. dropped by his little band called The Ranch, and I actually played it and made it a hit in Seattle. Got him, and then really got the present to extend his record deal, and now he has a solo career. He owes you, man. One last well, you know what's really funny? I see him all the time. He calls just out of the blue, and uh, you know we talked. We probably we talked uh, last time about th three months ago for about an hour. One last question from me about this. And I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna take this. He, he named all his credits and his yeah, legitimacy. That is I, legit. I, in my ears, in my humble Negro ears, I thought she was horse shit. So I'm wrong. <laughs> now, just Cowboy Troy. Is this some legitimate shit going on? I, I can't tell you the Cowboy Troy is legitimate, but he's certainly fun to watch. All right, who fair. the hell is Cowboy he's, Troy? That, that means he's leaving it open just to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, fair yeah. enough. I mean, Cowboy Troy. When he, anytime, you, anytime that your song is called "I Play Trick It," I play chicken with a truck truck. Which Ugh. is his song? It's a little. It's a little it bit. Sounds of a little gimmicky. But Elo's not. He's not gonna be until Troy's career is officially over. Then he can right, go, right. Ah, he stunk. And then I want to say he got ran over by the same truck truck. <laughs> All right. He might. He might be scheduled to come in and perform live at the right, XM enough, facility. Fair. So I reset. So I reneg him. on my fucking uh, mm, thing. No, you don't need to on Fair him. enough. I I I hate her. Song, I just thought. I just seemed thought, thought she was just some can shit. I, there's a lot of people who don't like her, but I just wanted to tell you that she, in, in the eyes of many country fans, she actually. Is legit. And Elo, wow. you'd bang her, right? Well, I mean, she's certainly attractive. That's ah, oh, her, yes, yes. Yes. Well, her, I don't know if bang would be the word. That she's you, a little yeah. thing. She was out right outside the studios of the other Got a yeah. little van. Little mm -hmm. thing. Little teeny thing. And I'm very sad about Darian O'Toole, by the way. Yeah, we got uh, great audio of her today, though. <laughs> you know, Darian? Uh, you know what? I, we had mutual friends when I was in San Francisco because she left San Francisco to go to New York. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Well, wait till you hear what we have. Oh, I can't wait. All right, Elo. All right, Hillbilly's rule. Bye. <laughs> Hillbilly's <laughs> rule. That's he loves. Elo's a redneck. I didn't realize that. No, he that. loves the country music. I, I would imagine he was right. born inside of the Empire State Building. <laughs> 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 that is really funny. <laughs> oh, Corporate in, motherfucker. In <laughs> right. oh, sweet 22A. <laughs> right. I was born up there, I remember. <laughs> My mother didn't utter a word or a scream or anything. I just came out in complete silence. Yeah. Came pop right out on the desk. Right table. out. He was born in a corporate pod <laughs> yeah, on a desk blotter. Right. That's amazing. Elo's a fucking goddamn redneck. We might have to look at the top country songs in America today like we did that one time. Uh. Oh, yeah.
The songs like uh, Living in Fast Forward, Your Man, What Hurts the Most, <laughs> Tonight I Want to Cry. All right. And I get where I'm going. You can tell what that's about. She Don't Tell Me To. Oh, Jesus, God. Take the Wheel. Bon, bon Jovi duet with Jennifer Nettles. A nice little crossover there. Who Says You Can't Go Home. <laughs> Nobody but me, and get drunk and be somebody. There you go. We're gonna have to try to figure out what some of those songs are today. Get right. drunk and be somebody. Down, tick it down, tick it down. Um, so here's Ryan Seacrest. A honky tonk, but donk it donk. Is that still on there? Or did that get kicked God. off the list? It's off the top ten. Uh, God damn! What happened to honky tonk? Honky tonk, donk donk. Awfulness. Uh, so Ryan Seacrest and um, good old Simon Cowell. Yeah. Because uh, like like I think Patricia someone said Ryan Seacrest the producers have basically said you know challenge Simon challenge him you two go at it the people it's, seem to enjoy it's it it's so fucking fake it's not yeah it's not even Just, funny uh... but here's what happened last night I think you've got the granny vote again tonight with that song what the granny okay. vote what I do I'll take the granny vote no no, no I think they'll love you for that I think I you, can get. I, you know but it was very juvenile. How old are you? How old are you, Kevin? I'm 16 years old. No, but he's it was 16 more like. Years old. I know, no, 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 but but two of these girls are 16, 17. That was more like 11. No. Oh, no. Whatever. But, yeah. I'm not being rude. Uh, oh, not at all. Don't worry about it. I love how he finishes things like that with. Yeah. I'm not being rude. No, it's, it's all good with me. Joe, I had a dream about you last night. Well, I, I don't want to know. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I don't. <laughs> I had a dream that you gave constructive criticism. Whoa. Could, you, could you attempt just a little bit Nothing. for Kev? Because I think he wants I, to be in that top 12. I haven't had that dream yet. Look, <laughs> right. You've Not had once. more of a nightmare. I've had been a nightmare. Discuss yeah. whatever fantasy dreams you have about me on this oh, show. Oh. I mean, that's oh. like off camera. See, like Ryan's trying to be the tough guy. And yeah. But, yeah. but, but why is Simon not... Dude, as these kids, fucking phony as as, these, as him. I, I just don't see it that way. Mm. Fair really enough, don't. man. I that motherfucker. And as far as constructive criticism, Ryan Seacrest coming up with that dumb line. These kids are singing in front of thirty million people. Yeah, you're past the point. You're past but, the point of constructive but, criticism. But he has the power. People are the people. Well, I give a thing, kid, wait a minute. The people are so fucking dumb, right? They he he gets people thrown off. Who he wants thrown off? That's what his job is, because he is manipulate, manipulate, manipulating the fucking TV audience. He Patrice. goes, you know, little guy with the diabetes. Right. You, right. I think tonight, Patrice, fair America, enough. you are gone. Get rid of him, America. Fair Did enough. Steering uh, people. I say, of course, get rid of him. Of course, but so far, every person that I thought should be voted off has been voted off. You know, I can't lie that fucking the, the bitch. So that's far, saying, it's gone perfectly. Um, uh, mm. uh, Donna Summon. Yeah, 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 Donna, Donna Summon, the last dance yep. girl. Yeah, yeah. Should have gone. But I don't think the little uh, half uh, Malaysian, half Fiji Island motherfucker uh, should have left. Sway? He shouldn't have left. Uh, I didn't little, like him at all. The little no shoulders guy, he stinks. Oh, the good, great, great, uh, little, little Peter bug. Brady? Yeah, the little yeah. bug kid. Peter Brady's got to go this week. The I say Harry he's Potter gone. Kid. They're like, oh, you so I like you. Yeah. You know, there's something about you. I like you so much. Shway should have lasted another week. You're probably right Shway on that. Should have left, but he wasn't going to win the whole thing anyway, so gone. it doesn't matter. He wanted him gone. So the constructive criticism. He's talking about uh, Kevin, the the little uh, chicken little kid. The little chicken little with the lisp. You you give constructive criticism to this performance. Ready for this? This was beyond horrendous. This kid is so gone. This is the little no shoulders. The little, yeah, with the he glasses. Is the tiniest okay, little, little like chicken little. Just little, little sickly kid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's from Levittown uh, on Long Island, but the kid's done. He's remember the so kid. Gone. Remember the kid, the, the little chicken that used to be dropped off for um, Foghorn Leghorn to uh, take care of. <laughs> hey boy. Hey boy. We're hey, gonna boy. teach you how to play baseball. One... Baseball, that is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the kid would walk around with the glasses, and he wouldn't know how to do anything. Didn't talk. And and and, and like uh, he'd come back. Foghorn with Leghorn would come back. Uh, I got the ball in the glove, son. Where are you? And uh, he'd be building something, <laughs> like it would be a big science project. Right. Boy's about as sharp as a sack of wet mice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, here's his. That's what he looks like. Exactly. Ryan Seacrest wants Simon Cowell to give this performance constructive criticism. Here it is. <laughs> starry, starry night. Your palette blue and gray. Look out on a summer's day. 
with eyes that know the darkness in my soul. Darkness in my soul. Now I think I know. Set them free. They would not listen. They did not know how. Holy shit! Perhaps I gotta apologize to Simon too. For they Bye. could not love you. Bye. But still, your love was true. And when all hope was left inside, on that starry, starry night, you took your life as lovers often do. I could have told you that this world was never meant for one as beautiful as you. Like he's hitting the notes and all, which he doesn't always do. But the list, the song itself, his presentation of it, just stinks. Dude, uh, where's the constructive criticism? Why did Ryan have to say it after this kid? This kid is so done. Someone has to tell the kid he has a really bad lisp and he shouldn't pick a song that has a lot of S words in it. Starry, starry night. He picks the worst song as far as his Major lisp goes. Major palette, blue and red. <laughs> it's not like his chest cavity was giving out on a man. Baby kid. talk, baby talk. It's a wonder you can walk. <laughs> Buddy Hinton's making fun of me. Yeah, Bosch should have sung that song. Very good. <laughs> that was uh, dude. That he was picks a song. Atrocious. He picks oh, a song really that bad. has a lot of st words did, in it, and that's did, his list problem. But what did? So wait a minute. That audio that played before was his comment on this song. Yeah, I yeah. fucked it up. I that wasn't even ba as bad as it should have been. No, that's what I'm because saying. Because that was kind of a better performance that he's done. I, he's been worse than that. But what has? What did Paul and what's called say to him? Uh, Paul loves yeah, him. Paul loves it. You're so adorable. The people love you. You have such a he won't go. style of yourself. No, I don't uh, think he's going to go this some, week. Let's do some no, I don't think he's going to go he's this week. He's not going. No, he was third last week. Third I don't think low. he'll go this he's week. So though. how much money? Twenty uh, dollars. No one else. They can forty. No one else. They can twenty bucks. And I'll tell you who they're voting off. Who? They're Peter voting Brady? off fucking Peter Brady's going. And country dude. And uh, the twin brother. And no, he's going to be in. Then you run out of people. No, it's between those three. There is one more guy. Wait a minute. Shit. Who? Oh. That little kid ain't going, man. I don't think he's going. Oh, he's so dumb. That kid is not going. Twenty dollars a man. Twenty dollars. I'm in. I'll take your twenty, and I'll take. He your is 20. absolutely not going. Right, he's not going. Twenty bucks. Absolutely not going. Who's 20 going? Bucks. I don't know, but it ain't him. Get the page up. I think we're gonna get an upset. Yeah, who's who's Get left? The, holy I think we'll shit! Have an upset. That little dude. Kid, I don't even want to take the money. This he is was too in, easy. he was in the inquiry this week with the story of how his girlfriend is a better singer than him, and he has diabetes. He's fucking not going, dude. Because this country, you gotta understand. Li listen, oh, uh, uh, we'll find out what's tomorrow. His, what's his fucking name? Uh, Simon Cow or Simon whatever. Simon Cow. He doesn't give a shit about your talent. Neither does America. Dude, dude. Th that's the whole setup for this cut. This thing. It's not about. That's why no big fat black girls have won yet, because they're the best singers. Other motherfuckers I, have won. Mm, I can relate to Simon a lot. Believe it or not, people are shocked by that. I'm sure. He's S not. Simon didn't beat that kid up because he knew he was so gone. It was just like, oh, I'll just let the guy have his his last moment on the stage. I'm telling when you. The, now, when, now, if you're saying even... he's so honest, why wouldn't he say, kid? You and your dumbness go back to Long Island. He didn't say he was good. He just he he, he trashed him, but he didn't go over the top and kill him and go. Look, dude, you're you're so gone. You're gonna, you're gonna have he that just 20? knows. I'll leave it overnight. All right. This is the easiest bet I've, I've I, done I lately. I can take more than twenty from you. Actually, no, I'm gonna take twenty from you, and I'm taking twenty from Who's him. Who's left? Let me see. And if I lose, I'll give you twenty, and I'll give you twenty. I'm telling you, America. And studying the list. You're, you're all right, all right. Look at Fat Boy next to the sissy. The, look, okay, you see where that arrow is there? Giddy, Gideon can go. Gideon, no, Gideon can no, go. They, no, Gideon can go. Not, he's not going because they like they like Gideon. But the fat kid next to Gideon. What fat what? kid? The, the the funny looking kid next to Gideon. That one there. Uh, but, uh, damn. That's Sway. He's gone already. He's gone, oh, no, no, that's Sway. There's another one. There's another. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, there's no. Will, Will is gone. The the Peter Brady looking yeah, kid. He's I, gone. Yeah. And he, then he an I think Jason America Howard. will throw out Gideon before they throw out Kevin. Holy shit. And say, uh, America. No. The, he's no. a black I, no. gay guy. No. No. Who, who in America who votes on this no. fucking show? No, Look, Gideon. Gideon has some crazy talent. 
He's very You know good. something? There was a black guy named, uh, what was no. his name, George, a couple of seasons back. It was a black gay guy who was really good, and they threw his they ass threw out. They threw him off. Before no. they threw out other people. They, they didn't Dude, vote see, for Clay because no he offense, was gay. No and, offense. And Clay's this is, white. This is the easiest bet I've made. Dude, this is the first time you've watched it down to this level. This I've is, seen the upsets. This is the easiest, this is right. the easiest bet I've had in a long right. time. I think Gideon goes. There's just no one else left that you can Will, throw out. Wait a minute. Will and Gideon. It's and a, you guys got a lot of faith in fucking course shit Joe Cocker. I don't. Uh, the the people adore him. I don't have faith in the Joe Cocker. The people love him. Wait, Matt on Long Island doesn't either. Matt? Yeah, yeah you're wrong, man. That Joe Cocker dickhead's out of here. Thank you, dude. Wrong. I have no faith in Joe Cocker. Did you see the ovation he gets when he's done? He's horseshit because this cunt. I know. Hard. But that's who's Three voting. Yeah, the whole... This that's dumb. Who's voting. This is Anthony Sport. It's not you voting, is, you, does, me. It's the American people are voting on this. It's not professional. It's not Simon. It's not. Let's, it's let's, it's the fucking rubes. Let's play Taylor Hicks right now. And, and you could sit there at home or in your car and say that uh, this performance is worse than Starry. <laughs> Can you do it? Starry, Starry Night. <laughs> this Taylor Hicks. Your palate blue and suffering <laughs> succotash. Taylor Hicks doesn't even have a CD. EFG. Dude, Taylor Hicks is not going. <laughs> Here it is. You don't know me a little Michael McDonald. Uh, see, Patrice is hating it because it's white boy music. Relax, Patrice. <laughs> you alone like Michael McDonald? You don't know this is worse than Starry, Starry Night. He's copying Michael McDonald. That's what they told him, too, but no. At least it's got some feel to it. He made his song. I do a Michael McDonald. Everybody does. Telling me the things you wanna do for me. Y'all won't be there. Open the world. Y'all won't be there. All right, shut up, Gary. It kicked in right here. Come on, you He's, uh, you know, he's, he's did not they going anywhere. Did they give the comment? They all... Dude, pretty, they, they all, when they he was them. finished, he got the longest applause break out of everybody. They said he, and he they had the best love performance him. last night. They love him. He is the biggest fucking fraud on the show. That little skinny First kid, of all, I think well, he's 45 uh, years old. He, he's just a sandy head asshole. He, he don't who me, bro. I can copy anything. Minute by minute by uh, minute. I'll Ray stop, Charles, man. Joe Cock is my favorite. Yeah. The li Lord lift us up. Oh, man, I love well, Mike McGonagall. What would you do <laughs> if I sang out of tune? <laughs> would you stand up and walk out? Me. Tim Belushi is better. me all here. Got a spastic all over the <laughs> stage. Fucking stage. All right, let's go to Jason in New York. Jason. What? Up, boys? Hey. You guys got to get Big A to sing that Starry Starry Night. Oh, oh wow. My God. Big A can't yeah, say SP words. He would still be singing it today <laughs> if he was singing it. <laughs> Can we get him to do this tomorrow? He's not working these days. <laughs> we want Big A to sing Starry Starry Night. That would be hilarious. Do, hilarious. Do we have the karaoke for that or something? Let's try to figure that Danny out. Danny already all over it. All right, great. Thank you, Jason. All right, boys, punching out. All right, so, and then our boy uh, Chris Darty. I think this guy's going to win the whole damn thing. Which one's this, this is one? him. This is him, in my opinion, having an off night, and he's which, still killed. Which, which one's this one? Rocker dude. All the, the, he's the best one by far, just like Bo Bice was the best one Chris, last year. Uh, oh. his. And that friggin' job at the auto parts store or wherever he works. She's in a gym every day right now. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, fuck. <laughs> she's chasing him on a treadmill. <laughs> and she wears a shirt called Groupies Suck. She's doing sit-ups like, and crunches. Ah. She bought a Bowflex. Oh, <laughs> she's, oh. She's got around-the-clock trainers, man. She's not even sleeping anymore. <laughs> it's over, Johnny. She's called the Nick Tuck guy. The kids, she knows. <laughs> the kids haven't eaten in two weeks because <laughs> he's too busy running around the neighborhood. <laughs> that guy is so gone. Oh, that fucking horse. She is out of here. She's going to be touring. Together, bitch. There's going to be 20 chicks a night. 
It's not even his kid, so no. <laughs> so it's not like he's got any real attachment to him. He has an easy. He has it. You watch him on stage. Yeah. It's like he's like a a professional. The rock uh, uh, star. A lot of these the people can star. sing, but they're not prof. The only two professionals as re there's three. There's there's man. This is a professional. Yeah, she's, but she's uh, more like a backup singer. She reminds me of a right. really good. Aretha Franklin's backup singer. She mm -hmm. had the best performance uh, two nights ago, though. But Paris, Paris is a she's, professional. She's dude. letting me down, man. I thought Paris was going to win the whole thing. She's first... starting to fall off a little bit. She's, ah. it's, it's all in the youth that yeah. can't pull it together. Like you give her a couple more years, she's probably going to be like a seasoned she's professional. She's going to be unbelievable. I at like one, 18. one song, Man Diesel, a week. as we like to yeah. call her, is uh, blowing Paris out of the out of the water. You can't sing like if I ask you to sing one, one song. fucking song, two minutes next week. Learn hey it. Anthony, yeah. sing the song next week. You can't give me all you got. Everything once, right, dude? They're picking their own songs though. That's the problem. That's why Kevin is out. If he didn't pick Starry Starry Night, he might have. I don't know. Last. He's, he's got. Now. He's playing to his demographic. God, you, make sure you bring. Bring your my fucking money, fucking money. I'm bringing. Dude, it. he's playing to his demo. The old people and and some geeky little girls will think nice he's run. cute. He had a nice run. He did all right. He's he's it's over, John. What does you don't know Gide uh, uh, Gideon have that you feel he's going to be in it? He looks like a performer. Wait, wait, I I think after this week, it, I don't like think he does. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna make it through this week and next week. Remember wow. last year? Yep. I don't know if last year. Remember the the, the teacher from New Jersey, um, who was really good. Um, had the had the dreadlocks, black dude. Mm -hmm. He used to wear like the uh, Jimi Hendrix kind of clothes or whatever. Kind yeah, of yeah. He. It, they voted him off. He should have been at least in the top four. But America doesn't like that sissy thing. Yeah. A and especially from black guys, man. Know. They don't like it. Here's your bottom three this week. Elliot Yaman. No. <laughs> that, he's going to be in the bottom three. I'm with, I'm with Anthony on this. Kevin. Man. The elf is not going to be in the bottom three. Hold it. Kevin is going to be in the bottom three. And Gideon is going to be in the bottom three. Oh, I think no yeah. shoulders are going to be in the bottom three. Like this no, now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Will, of course, is going to be in the All bottom right, three. Will. I think uh, Elliot's Will. very good. Will Kevin. Will, Will, Kevin, and Gideon, and Will and Gideon are gone. I think Will, Kevin, and Bucky. Nah, Bucky's uh, got the uh, that whole Midwestern. I like him. But so you they, think they'll love you him? Think the Leonard Skinner. You think he's gone? No, I think he's staying. I think he's staying. I know. I, got, I think Gideon's I, going. I got twenty dollars. You know. I got a $20 bet with you and yep. him. Peter Brady and Gideon, gone. <laughs> Kevin staying. And I don't, I'm going to tell you who else is a fucking who's overrated. Who? The pretty little young girl. Oh, Kelly Pickler? She stinks. Don't even start, though. <laughs> don't even start. She does stink on ice. But they love her. She is adorable and dumb as dirt, and they love her. That's what I'm saying. She fucking stinks. She is so stupid. I'm like, what? It they is so funny to watch such a stupid human. Simon calls her, called her a minx. A minx, and she didn't know yeah. what it meant. You here's the, a minx. Here's yeah. the audio. Wow. Thanks for the setup, by the way, Patrice. We were going uh, this way with this whole oh, bit. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, you are what's known as a naughty little minx. A naughty little minx. What's a minx? Minx. It's like uh, a kind of like, <laughs> like a nice bad girl. Like Carl Marx. Yeah. Like Carl Marx. Yeah. I, I like tell you what. Mark. I mean, you are. I really, really like you. I don't think you're the best singer, but <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. But, you know, you just, you're interesting. You know, and uh, I kind of prefer you to last year's winner, actually. Ooh. And she has a soccer mom. Mom. I do. Wow. wow. I wish we had more time in the show because I want to follow up on the Minx comment yeah. and why he has to bring that up on the yeah, show. No. We'll explain <laughs> when we go off there. Don't worry about it. But okay. that was a good reaction from oh. Simon. So congratulations. I'm a Mink. Well, Minx. Minx. Minx yeah. I'm a Mink. She has no idea. She is adult, <clears throat> but she's adorable, and America will vote yeah. for that. And you see her mom, she's one of those moms that trained her to be oh, famous. Oh, yes. Yeah. And she's singing along with her like, she doesn't have yeah. a mom. You yeah, yeah be... she, uh, there's a lady there that she she sings along. A woman there, her, right? Her grandfather's raising her. Real, well, then uh -oh. somebody, some, her sister. The mom left, I think, and the father's in prison for drugs or something. That's a wonderful story. No. Who's the woman? Somebody, fucking story. 
story? Somebody help me out. Yes, it is. The father's definitely in jail. I, I, and I think the mom's out of her life, too. Who's the lady wow. that has no real family? She's got a grandfather and some friends that is her uh, support system. There's a, there's a lady who sits in this. What they always show. Yeah, and they, the say, they say Kelly Pickler's friends. Yeah, friends. Right, there's there's no mom there, I'm telling you. Look a little old for a friend. All right, we should take a break. Tyler's the best on Idol. Tyler? Who is that? Which one's Tyler? You don't know me. Oh, oh, Taylor or Tyler? How does he pronounce Hicks? Uh, yeah, take it into Taylor the streets. Hicks, right? <laughs> you don't it. know me, but I'm your father. <laughs> on my own, it will hurt you. Right, Once let's, again, he's... let's take a break. My baby, she wrote me a letter. <laughs> well, she wrote me a letter. <laughs> Very <laughs> good letter. Without me no more. What happens to the tributes? How about uh, Rod Stewart? Is it any Rod Stewart yeah. songs that he has to sing? They're going to get to the tribute part Look, where they have to do other artists. I think the guy's terrific. I really do. He's not going to He's not gonna win at all, but he makes it a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> that stupid starry, starry night. Starry, starry I night. I to go home. As soon as they get into some non-soul stuff. Time to go home. You're going to see a lot of crying by his mom and dad in the Beach audience. Beach blanket, bingo. <laughs> Beach blanket, bingo. <laughs> all right, look. Look at all the stuff we have in front of us. We're not going to get to half this shit again. Beach blanket, bingo. <laughs> if they got to sing that, he's sunk. Tribute to a net full of cellos movies. Beach blanket, yeah. bingo. All right, we're getting, the, uh, <laughs> we're getting the side to break. Yeah, we got to take a little It, it has been a while. A lot of fun so far. Ben's today. come in. Patrice O'Neill in studio. Are we promoting anything? Web Junk 20, obviously, on VH1. Yeah. Else? I got some other shows, but I don't know. Oh, you're know. doing a show Saturday night for us. Yeah. Fucking 8 to 10 p.m. Uh, Everyone's talking about Eastern that. Eastern time. Yeah. Yep. It's got a big buzz. Can't wait. Everyone's talking Can't wait about to do it. Help some people out in their fucking miserable lives, oh. fucking around. He's doing a relationship These show. Bitches. So. Bitches. <laughs> and I, I, do you want to do it, you do it uh, the next Saturday, too? We're trying to figure that out. I don't think I'm going to be around, but I want to do it as many times as you'll have me do it. But, right. you know, you got to let me fucking know. All right, so we'll I can do the first one. We'll dump see off my other career, which I would love to get rid of. ba 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 bang a dang dang a ding a dong ding He did the mess. He did the monster mess. All right. Harmonica. Wa-ba-ba-ba-ba. This has got to be Primus, right? Yeah. We're back to the Opie and Anthony program. Patrice O'Neill in studio today. No surprise here. Let's say hi to Toby in Indiana. Toby, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, uh, I, mean, I, I, I uh, don't have XM in my new truck yet, so I've been forced to listen to Man Cow these last few months. I was, I was listening before I called you. He's, he's got a guy in the studio that's going to put his junk in a mousetrap. Oh, wow. How about that? I'm so glad we can help all the radio shows across America. This guy is fucking ridiculous. I, like, two days after you guys do something, he's on it. Uh, absolutely. And then he'll go on TV or, and on his own show and trash us. But he's getting yeah. a lot of show prep from yeah, our hey, glad, program. Glad we could help you out over there. I yeah, love no these shit. fucking guys because there's another show, KOMP in uh, Vegas. Mm -hmm. Guy's going to be stung uh, in the ball bags for yeah. NASCAR tickets or something. Yeah. With bees. It's like, why don't you at least wait six to eight months so it's not so Let obvious? Let a little time go by. If I can order an attack, I would. It's 8882 Mancow, boys. Dude, Mancow is just a desperate, desperate uh, radio guy. You know, Howard Stern quits regular radio. Mancow wasn't good enough for satellite radio. No one wanted nope. him on satellite radio. So then he's like, well, at least I'll get Howard stations when Howard goes to satellite. Eh, sorry. <laughs> and then he's he bragging. Didn't, he didn't get one. He didn't get one of Howard's markets. He was bragging about how he got uh, good ratings in, I swear to you, I never heard of some town in Montana. That I never heard of in my life. He's sending out his own press releases. Yeah, his own of, press releases. Of how he's doing great in these very, very small little towns across America. Syndicated to a lot of markets around the country, and they're all these little one-horse towns. Uh, the guy can't make it. He's, he's uh, made it in one big city. You know, he's a name. He's a name in a big city, so, and that's it. So Howard One. left, and there were all these great, great stations that needed uh, an air personality. They didn't. They didn't even look at Man Cow. No. And here in New York, David Lee Roth, there's stories in the paper again today that yep. he's just failing miserably and getting and, into uh, fights with management over there. And you know, the writing's on the wall over there. That's yeah. pretty obvious. And they're not going to be calling Man Cow when they get rid of David Lee Roth. Nope. 
Hey, guys, Sorry. Number out again to the pest. Huh? You guys mind if I give that number out again to the pest? Yeah, go ahead. I, I would love to hear his excuse why he's doing the mousetrap bit. Right. He'll say something like, I did that back in uh, 1989. I was there. I, I did the mousetrap thing. Shut up, you ass. Shut up. It's you did not. Two man cow. 888 two man cow. Fucking call yeah. this prick. I'm sure he's got screeners up the ass over there. They're just going to try to, uh, uh, you. of course, not They're confront the situation. Yeah, but just ask him where he got the idea from. I got it from my own brain, my own head. I'm a genius. I'd imagine, you know, if we're going to be fair here, there's probably someone that did mouse traps on the air before we did it recently. Mm -hmm. But that's the weird thing. It's a, it's such a recent thing that we did, and all of a sudden, guys all over the country are doing it. It's like, what? I, uh, I, why, don't you, why don't you wait a while? I'd like to hear from a radio personality that had done that before us. I really Who don't the know. fuck is going to have the balls to go up and say, hey, boss, we want our listener to come in and snap his nuts in a mousetrap. Right. And then the boss that's going to say yes. Aaron in Jersey. Uh, hey, guys. How you doing? Hey. Hi. I just uh, want to let you know when David Lee was off the air for a little while, PSP in Pennsylvania. PSP? <laughs> PST, I think it is. What PST? YSP. Oh, YSP. Oh, YSP. Yeah, w David was off. They had a temporary guy who's usually in the afternoons, and just from listening for about five minutes, I heard a, a bunch of things that were familiar, like um, they had someone call in and say the DJ's name and hang up on him before he gets to respond. That old gag. Ah. Uh, wait, what's that gag? <laughs> like, oh, uh, Opie. Yeah? Click. Click, uh, yes. That, the click everyone game. laughing. Well, that's just... They did the uh, the fourth local bit where they, you know, they have a little jingle about a fourth local bit, and then they talk about, you know, the Schuylkill Expressway. And... I got a, I got a report last night off right, of right. MySpace that um, I guess Kid Chris was getting a, a website together where he's asking for people. It's under a different name, uh, not not a pest or something, but it's similar. And he's looking to recruit people to do like missions and oh, and attack other shows and stuff with uh yeah. Anyway, let's move on to another yeah. DJ that uh, we kind of like. She was in New York radio for a while. Uh, Patrice O'Neill likes her. Darren O'Toole. She was huge in San Francisco, and then she came to New York and uh, failed miserably. And then she went to a couple different places, and then went back to San Francisco, right? Yeah. And she was off to a great start there, and she got fired yesterday. Darren O'Toole fired. Fire. Uh, she came in like a lion in January, and Darian O'Toole crept out like a lamb in March. K-I-F-R. That stands for Free FM. Oh, it does? It's another Free FM station. All right. The format that Infinity Radio launched after losing Howard Stern, hoping to take away the sting of losing the self-proclaimed king of all media, erased all references to O'Toole on its website, and program director Ken Cole came close to disavowing all knowledge of anything and everything. That's how uh, radio works, people. Jesus Christ. You're on the air one day, you're a star, you're the guy, and then the next day, uh, when you get fired, you never existed. It's like the it's only like, surviving uh, uh, Stalin philosophy. I was going to say, it's like Russian history. Is, <laughs> is, is in radio, where all records are to be wiped out. The alphabet doesn't, and you guys, it, the, the new alphabet was B, C, D, E, no. L, M, N, O, L, yes. wait, L, M, N. You can't even do it without getting the O no out. No O, no A. <laughs> no O and A. <laughs> Please, when writing memos, intercorporate memos, do not use the letters O or A, especially next to each other. Uh, there was talk of a disheveled show two Fridays ago, and then O'Toole was reportedly out sick for a week. Mm. It's not good news for the Canadian who claims San Francisco is her home. She's been fired from some big gigs in New York and San Francisco before, but the station seemed a natural fit. It's hot talk with young hosts, and it should have worked for her. Although on one of her midday shows, I heard probably the worst hour of talk radio this side of the sewage nation. When her bathroom habits were the sole topic of conversation, Free FM had hit a major bump that day. Almost as rocky as hearing the morning doghouse on the same station claim that Clear Channel Radio made up the incident that got them fired. Mm. A lot of lo local shit that I don't know anything about. If you heard the show last Friday that got her bumped or have insider news, drop a comment. I'm only hearing ugly rumors so far, but we'll try to add more soon. P.S. Tory Ryder, who worked at KPIX FM and KFRC, is filling in for now. 
and PPSS. If being fired is a curse in radio, just remember Howard Stern and Rush Limbaugh, both of whom lost plenty of jobs on the way to the top. And one more. Word is her last show is a classic. Does anyone have a tape? I requested from Ken Cole, who claims the station no longer keeps log uh, tapes. Yeah, Hello, right. Jag. If one of you has it, please get it to me, and I can put part of it up here. Well? Well, Brad Cava. We have the tape. Well, who has the tape of uh, Darian O'Toole this allegedly is her, sloshed? This is her last show on the air when yeah. we have the tape that uh, they're looking for out there in San Francisco. Now, I heard some of this in the office this morning. Steve was playing it. We were getting a good little chuckle. And um, I don't know any of the circumstances, but she does indeed sound like people I have heard that have been drunk. A lot of slurring. A lot of blank, open spaces. Uh, a lot of being out of the conversation completely. Babble. Things like that. Right. That uh, would lead me to believe sh perhaps she was uh, intoxicated. All right, really fast. We just got to rewind a second here. Cliff in Boston. Cliff? Good morning, b -b -b boy. Hey, Cliff. Make it fast because hey. we're on a roll right now. Sure. I just got through to Mancow. I talked to the screener. Yeah. Um, the screener's actually really cool. I told them uh, that the bit was originally an O and A bit, and I asked them where they got the idea. Um, they, he said that somebody suggested they throw about a thousand of them on the floor and have somebody walk around or crawl around. Uh huh. Um, and I was like, you do realize O and A did that like a month ago? Right. And he's like, well, I asked if they were going to give credit. He goes, yeah, I, I don't see Mancow doing that. He's like, you guys have been calling like for the past ten minutes, but. I don't think he's going to do it. Yeah, I don't either. Fuck it. Those in, guys, no one's listening to them anyway uh, on satellite radio. I, everybody knows they don't have any listeners. And uh, yeah, I'm cool. here. Uh, I have listeners. I, I, on a bad day, I have uh, one million times the listeners that they... Oh, uh, just that rambling radio voice delivery shit. Have fun over there. Have fun. So glad we could help out every uh No every one radio wants you. Out there. No one wants you. Shouldn't no one wants but you. We help out a lot of radio shows. Yeah. We're show prep. Yeah, we got show prep. They just go to our website and they get all their ideas. There you go. They've been doing it for years. Happy to help. Hoo hoo, tell them Fred. But it's the truth. Uh what's Ben doing? I'm just uh, shaking. Ben, just, um sweating. Funny, uh, funny looking at their uh at their website. The station she was on in San Francisco it just says free FM programming now at 10 a.m. Like her picture's <laughs> oh, gone and everything. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. They wipe you out. But why are they... This is what I don't get about radio. They don't know how to have fun anymore. Mm -hmm. If you got a jock that is drunk on the air, I'm listening every day. Yeah. Every day. You want to get ratings, you allow her to continue to go on the air drunk. Let her drink. I don't care if she babbles about grass growing if she's drunk if she's drunk me and ben were joking like who can't drink on the air jesus christ who can't get drunk on the air and perform and do a goddamn show only amateurs amateurs can't do it me and ben let me tell you a little story about wnew days we were hammered by noon and we didn't have to be on till three <laughs> Dude, we should have an experiment, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Get some of the homeless guys and and just have them come in here and just have a ton of booze Let all over drink. the studio and just keep the mics on and mm. don't even direct them. And see just, what see where it goes and just listen in. It's an and experiment. Just listen in. I like it. Who wouldn't check out that show? Homeless drunk guys with no direction. They would they would freak out in D.C. like, oh my God, there's no there's no direction here. Who cares? I listen that to that great. every day. Yeah. So here's Darren O'Toole, her last show on the air before she got fired. Mm -hmm. All right, David Tell is coming up in a few minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Oh, Dave, boy. even I'm afraid of Dave. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Dave is. Dave is hilarious. Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. Free FM. All right, but now Tom Cruise. Come on, Tom Cruise. Hey, he does. He cares. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> that, that, oh no! Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, cares. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't Already good. Shit, That's dude. one of those. I can't, oh. Come here, so sugar. Hey, hey, why? Come here, I won't give you. I, I love you. <laughs> he does. He cares. I don't know. Like, is the Jennifer Anderson thing? Like, is it all? Is it all a ruse, or is it? Like, is it planned? What do you think? Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. Oh. If anyone's went, 
If anyone was wondering why Katie Holmes would take a 14-hour plane trip to Australia last week, <laughs> while well, seven and a half months pregnant, just to attend the funeral of a man she never met, the answer would probably just, I'm just guessing, because oh, my fiancé is a psycho. I'm just saying, not. Uh, I'm not judging. Just well, you saying. Know, you know her. Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. Fucking thing with her is her guy. Oh really? Yeah, her I know that it is part of her new religion. Uh, he says that you can't have sex with your husband. You like you're until you're you give birth. You are you are untouchable. Star Magazine says that Carrie, Katie oh, promised her parents man. she wouldn't attend the funeral of Carrie Parker oh my God. with fiancé uh, Tom for the obvious health risk involved for the baby. So, like, you no know, pregnancy. I don't, I, I don't even know who that guy is. Who is, um... Carrie Packer. Anybody know? Carrie Packer, you said? Yeah, Carrie Packer. No idea. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll Google him. I'll Google him and we'll figure this out. My guess is I'm on your day, but it's like it's gotten weird. It's definitely gotten weird. It's really creepy. She's sleeping down the street from him. Tom needs to have oh. a little more respect for his lady and stop treating her like a walking uterus to make obedient clones for Zenu. I'm just saying. Jennifer Aniston in love. Jennifer, uh, friends of Jennifer Aniston, say that she and oh, Vince Vaughn Anson. spent Valentine's Day together. And they thought it would be the moment when Vince proposed to her. Didn't happen. <laughs> Didn't exactly happen. 888 Dustin, you're on the air with Darian on 106.9 Free FM. Hi. Yeah, hey. Um, I just want to say, who cares about celebrities' lives? I don't understand why people spend so much time getting rumors and who said what and who's seeing who. I don't understand it. I yeah, it's care. big business. It's on the front of every paper. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Is I don't understand why people like that. Hmm. I just don't understand where, like, where, what they're targeting or who they're targeting or why these people are so involved in it. Who cares? Mm-hmm. That was that was really all I wanted to say. I mean, I, I'm just shocked by people that get all involved in this. So, how is your relationship? It's great. Yeah. Are you married? No, no, no. I'm uh, 20 years old. I have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Do you ever go through this kind of <laughs> drama? Do I ever what? Do you ever go through this kind of drama? I don't know what this kind of drama is. Any kind of drama. I, I, you know, not married. Oh my or, God! I want to be. Baby, if you going through anything and you, what kind of drama pertaining to this conversation? No, baby, just not just, <laughs> just what's going on in your mind. Just what's what you ever, baby? You ever, baby? Been, <laughs> you ever been in a drama or anything like, you know, on um, TV or anything or? No, drama? drama? No, 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 like black girl drama. Are like, you a drummer? You not no drama, baby. Maybe you're a drummer. Keep that her on like the air. Drama. What? Well, oh, of course. We don't uh, even want to talk. We just want to play the tape and not even make a comment. It's so good. This is why she's off the air. I'm gonna tell you, this, th that conversation is why she's off the air. This fucking whatever this San Franciscoite who's like self-indulged in whatever he's into he's like yeah. you know why do people get into celebrity oh, and he's like and she's going la, 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 la. <laughs> and he's like and she's like I want to and he's like Oh, I don't understand. He doesn't even acknowledge. Why does he go like, "Hey, a, Darian, a fucking drunk"? I, What's going on with you? I, I'm hearing this audio for the first time. Ben and Steve and Anthony, they all said oh, this is unbelievable, and I figured, you know, I, I I'll go cold with this. So, you know, my it's my thoughts are fresh. When she went to that first phone call, I was just assuming this guy's going to call her out right there. 
call her out and go, what the fuck but is wrong with you? But that's the fucking reason she got fired, because of the fucking phoniness. They should just go, like we were talking about that whole Coca-Cola thing. Yeah. Coca-Cola, don't they, they don't have the reality that they can say, go fuck yourself? We so, we here at Coca-Cola support rape. Uh, <laughs> now, don't drink it if you don't want to, motherfuckers. It, you, and they're going to sell anyway. What? No one, why would they fire her? For what? Because of that guy that called in that won't go... Darren, Darren, you're drunk bitch, off your ass. You, you drunk, Mick, bitch. Yeah. And she'll go, I think I got problems. I had a couple before I came in. I didn't eat. It hit me harder than I thought. Look, on a daily, if she said something like, every day, I come in here and I drink just as much as I had today. But today, it just fucked me up. Man. These radio guys. I had one more shot than I usually do. <laughs> These radio guys don't know how to get ratings. They just don't know no. how to. I would make promos out of this going, she has lost her fucking mind. Yeah. You better listen tomorrow because we honestly have no idea we what she's going to do what tomorrow. She's gonna do. Yeah, we yeah. don't know. You want to see radio Could go be through some the of the horse tomorrow. And people still, her phone's lit up. They probably yeah. like, Dorian, you're drunk. Well, I don't give a fuck. What uh, happened? Well, the, well we what get you to that. What you thinking about, bitch? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get back to the audio. <laughs> but they don't get how to get ratings. No. You, you keep this shit on the air. Yeah. And ride it out. Any kind of drama. A guy, you know, not married or I want to be a dad or whatever. Like, whatever drama I mean, comes. Of course, relate, I mean, I guess you're trying to compare my relationship with celebrities and that's why people are interested. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate your call. Have a good day. Thanks. Uh, Daniel in Concord, you're on the way Second with, call. Uh, Darren O'Toole. Second call. Does, yeah. does Daniel call her out? Uh, I'm not sure. I only heard parts of this. I, I never heard it either. This is my first right. time hearing it. I guarantee... Does he call her out? Let's take a guess. No, he He's probably a little I bit no. more aware. Yeah, as time guys. goes by now and they're listening... I would assume that people are going to start going, wait a minute, she sounds a little fucked Dorian, up. Dorian, are you okay? But I guarantee you, no one goes, Dorian, are you Because she has screeners, too. Are you drunk? So no one let anybody through. No, no one calls her out. Because no. I, I bet your screeners, because somebody, that bitch is drunk, let me on the air with her. N yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, they try uh, to keep a, a formal uh -huh. show going on, so no one gets to call I know her this out. much. Someone uh, finally calls her out. All right. I don't know where in the tape, but it could be this guy. Okay. Do you say yes or no? I say not yet. Yeah, I say no. Yeah, not yet. I say not yet. Concord, you're on the way with uh, Darian O'Toole, 1069 for FM. Hey, Darian. Hi. It's been a while since I called in. Well, welcome. Yeah, and I'd like to say that... Uh-oh. Tom Cruise has gotten a creepy. He has, right? He's gotten weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know he. Tom Cruise has gotten really freaky. <laughs> yep. He's <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> you know he really has. And Anthony, she's legitimately crazy before liquor. I don't think she was drunk when I was it doing it. She, she's she's nuts already. Don't you hate Tom Cruise's wife? <laughs> Go in there, Perry, and show her who's boss. <laughs> oh. Wait, do the year again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. 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 <laughs> so you think Tom Cruise... Hi, Gary, and um, I'm not even going to acknowledge the fact that you sound soft. Is uh, Tom, Cruise, Tom Cruise a little freaky these days? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's still freaky God, I don't know. It's freaky. It's so freaky. Oh, oh my God. I was going to, and then when I'm talking, look, look I want to tell you something. That I said, oh, you're a hedge. <laughs> oh. uh, Darian, i um, just like to address the uh, Tom Cruise issue you, uh, you were talking about. You must have hated that moose. <laughs> He's taking my paycheck out of the envelope. You think it's my last paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Poor Darian! Bitterman removed me from the studio. It sucks because she was always cool to us, man. She was not. Look, she was so. She was <laughs> very nice. Really she was the only uh, FM person I did an interview with that, like. She's like, yeah. I love them. I love all people. They were, we had a big thing about how y'all really want to be on free FM. Yeah. Back and forth thing. Right. And she's nuts. I hated to say I like that lady. You're, you're my general manager. I just thought I was doing very cool with you. And you know, her, her husband is like the the E Rock. 
yeah. of the of her show. She's married to the guy that, that her producer. So he's probably sitting there like, uh, uh, Darren. Yeah, um, uh, you better cool down. Baby, come on, Mal. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, don't think I will be seeing any more of you here at the radio studio. Because I have lost <laughs> my job. <laughs> but I love you all. <laughs> and I won't be seeing you because I'm unemployed. But now I think I should be going to rehab. <laughs> I know. I'll get a real job. I'll work. Oh, man. <laughs> Cars. I love it. Oh, fuck. Oh. Let's get back to the audio here. Darren O'Toole fired yesterday for being drunk on the air. Here's the tape that everyone is looking for. This is yeah. yesterday. Dude, we're the only ones that have it. And I'm sure people will be playing. Don't we have a tomorrow. stinger? <laughs> exclusive, exclusive, oh, like yeah. Entertainment right, Tonight or I got, something. I got a little something. So, uh, exclusive, me, you, Darian. Come on, we'll drink, get drunk, Betsy. Oh, where's I'll my lick thing? your ass. Hold on, where's my thing? Where's your thing? I got found my thing. Where, where's your thing? I got my thing. Where's your thing? <laughs> here's my thing. The thing in the thing. I love how Dice just says stuff and assumes it's going to be funny because he just says it. <laughs> where's your thing? He's looking for a thing. I got a thing. It's the thing's thing. <laughs> funny, right? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, we can do the Fox News alert. Uh, XM exclusive alert. You'll only hear it here on the Opie and Anthony show. Darren O'Toole fired for being intoxicated, allegedly. We have the audio. You'll hear it right now. On the thing. Here we go. Back to the audio. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Like you said one time about him, he's gotten kind of like Jim Jones. <laughs> and I totally agree with you there. <laughs> yeah, and then he got oh, a little wow. weird. And then he got a little weird. <laughs> yeah, so now he's just like a I don't know, some some kind of weird weird sort of cult funny guy. stuff. Yeah. These delays aren't put in by the way by us. Serious help. All right, thank you. Colette, you're on the air with Darian on 1069 Free FM. All right, does Colette call her out? Who's um, the third call? Colette. A, Somebody a, eventually calls her out. A girl in San Francisco. Mm. I guarantee. Hi, I'm Colette. It's it's it's. Uh, <laughs> all right, and this is not being. I'm not saying this because San Francisco. Yeah. No, I'm saying it because of San Francisco, but I'm not saying it to be stereotypical. A gay guy calls her out. That's you the think? only yeah. honest motherfucker honest in San guys. Francisco. Gay guys we'll know by the voice. Some yeah. gay and you can yes, tell by the way they talk. Some open. gay guy will go, Darian. This is a, this is a travesty. What you're doing? It's Darian. embarrassing to the company. Darian, you're embarrassing yourself, yes, girlfriend. Yes, yes. Take care of yourself. You're better than this. You're better than this. Sorry, starry night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Colette. This chick will not call out. All right. What you see. think? What you think? I think you're right. What you mm. think? I think everyone is so self-absorbed. They just don't even know she's drunk. Yeah, she, this woman is now on hold just wanting to talk about Tom Cruise. She's not listening to All the right. show. Here's my moment to be on the radio. Colette? Oh, hi, Darian. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I didn't know I was on the air. Um, I was just calling to say hello, I and I am um, a fairly new listener. Mm -hmm. But um, I was calling to find out, are you feeling okay today? You oh! Are you feeling okay, girl? Wow. Did, 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 it was cold. That was unexpected. Did your period? Oh, let's go. Something, girl thing. <laughs> girl thing. girl thing. It took a girl out. You know right. what? Wow. It, it, yeah, we're dumb. Yeah, of girl. Of course it's girl. girl. Calling out another girl saying, look, Colette, man. You? You Good right, for dude. you, Colette. Mm -hmm. Being honest, telling her, look, are you okay? She didn't close, say. I was close with a gay guy, though. <laughs> a guy would have been like. Hey, finally. Hey, you're a hammer, bitch. What the fuck? She's like, are you, are you okay? You doing all right, girl? You all right? You sound a little... <laughs> I'm fine. What's her uh, answer? I don't know. Let's find out. It backed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, I was calling to find out, are you feeling okay today? You sound a little out of it. <laughs> no, I'm just, like, disgusted by the absolute stupidity of people. 
Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, I, I read the tabloids and follow all this stuff, and I'm not quite sure what's going on with, you know, Katie Holmes and uh, Tom Cruise. I think it's kind of bizarre, and they're kind of bizarre. But um, but anyways, I was just sitting here at my desk listening to you, and I just you just sounded a little odd today, so I just wanted to call and odd. see how you were feeling and, and all that. So it's okay to be strong and opinionated and mean. <laughs> it's a good thing. I don't think she meant that, Darian. For, for who? For me to be that way? For me. Oh, for you. Yeah. Uh, no, I just, I just, I've been w- listening to you, but today, like I said, you just sound a little odd. You kind of sound a little slow on your comeback. So I was just. What I don't a know, diplomat! Seeing how yes. how you were today. No, that's sweet. Okay. No, I'm just a mellow. Okay. I'm mellow. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that soon. Okay. All right, thanks. Ten oh nine oh one oh six nine free FM. David Tell is here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> hey, Dave. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing okay. Come Glad on. to be here. Working out in San Jose. San Jose. <laughs> Holy shit, David Tell. Oh, oh my God. He's was not... he listening outside? Well, let's see how long it takes for him to figure it out. It, yeah. well, I was sitting there Holy, imagining myself in, and I'm just yeah. thinking that eventually I'll go, this bitch is drunk, just over there, right. and not to her, just, this bitch is Look for someone, you know, look right, for right. the... Is this Miss Patrice, Trump? Is she, is Patrice she? if I was completely hammered you walked in, wouldn't you go right at me? Mm, Immediately. No, no. Why not? I, I would go... I would look around first to Eric... To right, right. In there. Then I would see. So you think David Tell? The only help I would get would be from Anthony, who would, might have the balls to say Ope. And I would go, "What the? Is it Opie? Are you all right?" I would not go. So, You're drunk, motherfucker. So you but think I would he's go, looking around right now and, and just d- he's assessing Dave the situation. Is looking around. All right, right. Let's, let's listen in. Okay, Hello. glad to be here. Working out in San Jose. San Jose. Someone, someone just accused me of being slow, and I was like trying to be so mellow because I thought because you know I knew you were coming in. To be, why would you want to be mellow? I know. I was trying to like. <laughs> yeah, what? Be the. Uh, I, I see what you're saying. Exactly. I was trying to set the pace, but you know. It's if you'd a, like to make a call, I don't. Oh. I, her phone. Her phones are ringing. She on the air. She left her phone off the hook. She probably bumped into the phone. Had no idea. Oh Jesus That's what you're Christ! Because all of a sudden the phone just rang. She probably this knocked is it, had no so idea. bad. Set the pace, but you know. It's if you'd a, like to make a call, I don't, oh. I, I, who knows? Are we ordering a pizza? What's going on here? <laughs> we might be. I like what you've done with the studio. You love it? Yeah. It's pretty, right? It has kind of an outpatient feel. There's like one poster on the wall and a TV that's not working. I like it. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome, David Bell. Oh, Thank you. No, how right. uncomfortable. So what's going on with you, Mr. Um, Mr. I'm, doing, Man. I'm doing some uh, road work. <laughs> Mr. Right Man, <laughs> what's up with you, Mr. Man? This is this is the greatest segment of it. <laughs> unbelievable. How uncomfortable is Dave sitting there because he's waiting for a cue to start talking about something. She's conducting the show, and she probably and knows she didn't him. say anything. She's just like, "What's up, Dave?" And Dave's like, "Hey, just gonna come in and play in San Jose. Uh, what's going on?" <sighs> David Tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to start? A telly, telly, bo belly, Yeah. Mr. Man. Five bo belly. What's up with you, Mr. Man? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, is this rough? Um, Mr. Do- Man. I'm doing some uh, road work right now. That's what we call it in the comedy. Hey, Obi, please bring it back and, to Mr. Man. Uh, please go back to Mr. Man. You gotta go back please to Mr. Go, Man. Go back to Mr. Man. Please, Mr. Man. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So what's going on with you, Mr. Um, Mr. I'm doing, Man? I'm doing some uh, road work right now. That's what we call it in the comedy biz. <laughs> Heading uh, from San Jose to Sac Town, Sacramento. Mm, Working oh, my way wow. back down to L.A. You know, and uh, oh, he's lost. Got some things in the works, I guess. That's what people say. But mostly, just uh, doing my comedy. What do you think? I think you're crazy. Am I? Mm-hmm. How's that Red Bull? Is that your morning? Uh, mm-hmm. That's it. I don't take coffee. I know. Why not? I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing with me. Coffee does nothing. We Red live Bull. in the best well, coffee need... town outside of Seattle. I know, right? Uh, it's the coffee here is so good. 
It's like mother's milk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There is just nothing. Poor Dave. Dave is probably sitting yeah, there looking was, at it like, he oh my god, I, I I don't know what to do. If I'm if I come in here and fucking it's like, Obi's like, and, and me and you might yeah. be talking about whatever, and you, and you like, <sighs> well, say, you know, like, here, here, all right, Jim and Ohio. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Patrice, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Nope. You, Wait a minute! Now Anthony's drunk. Oh, you are you drunk? You drunk? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now drunk. I'm not imitating me. I thought Anthony's you were drunk. 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 Now wait, there's drunk. no there's no opie in here. Right. It's, it's not even our drunk. show. All right. It's <laughs> a show with a host. I'm just host A over here. Okay. And and okay. what? How would you handle this? So we have Patrice O'Neill and Patrice. What are you doing? <clears throat> I'm just uh, I'm here in New York. Uh, you know I'm doing just doing uh, doing uh, Caroline's over here in New York, man. Just uh, doing my thing. Yeah. Just. Mm, you're crazy, <laughs> Mr. Man. <laughs> so yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing? It's not just working on uh, working. working on Web Junk Twenty. I, uh, I see your body heating up, even it. though we're play acting here. Web, I can see it. <laughs> web Junk. Do, do what I'm doing. <clears throat> you ever seen it? Web Junk Twenty. Uh. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's just, I'm just staring at Patrice, and, and it's got to be so uncomfortable to know that, well, some sound has to go out over the air. Well, God. what do you do? It gets better. We, we're, only halfway, do? we're only halfway done. Oh, God. Here we go. Darren O'Toole, drunk in San Francisco. God, she got man. fired for doing Oof. this last show. It's your man. Hey, wh while you're there in the studio today, it sounds like Darian's a little drunk this morning. There you go. <laughs> Have a good time and take advantage of her, all right? <laughs> Are you a little tipsy today? Darren? Hello? Hey. No, not at all. I'm just, I'm, okay. you know what? You know what? You know what? Is, is it the Olympics? No, 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 no. Me. Dave, are I'm you a doing chronic shows? insomniac. I, like, I haven't slept for like five days. Wow. Last night, yeah, I know. My doctor like hooked me up. Last night, I slept like for like 10 hours, so I'm like How was totally that? boring. Did you have dreams on top of dreams? I do. Oh my god, I did. I don't did. <laughs> That's a lot of sleep. Ten hours. It's a lot to process. Man. Yeah, I know. So you must feel so good today, right? Kinda, of, but stupid though. I little... feel stupid. No, I no, I truly I do feel stupid. Do you feel like just taking your shoes off and just running around? Kinda. Of. Really? Yeah. yeah, we're not allowed to do that here though. Shoes what? have to stay on at all times. <laughs> what happened to San Francisco? I, I, I don't know. Dirty no, no, I think it's wrong. just I think it's just me actually. Where I are was, the dirty it was handed down to me. So are you doing a show Sunday too? I thought you were just doing uh, two shows tonight and then oh, three shows Saturday. No, Sunday uh, the seven. I think it's seven thirty. You guys should check uh, either my site or the uh, improv site. I was on the improv site. I think I just saw Friday and Saturday. Let's do it. This is like the first part of CSI. Okay. It's always like guy on the computer. Let's check it out. Um, <laughs> I think it's 7.30, isn't it? Oh, 7.30. Wow. Yeah, okay, we're doing one thing. Sunday, too. Excellent. Yes, that's going to be that's gonna be the the one that I'll be hung over at. But it'll be a good show. So were you drinking at all? Mm. There? No, not at all, sadly. You, it, Craig and Concord. I, I wish I would. Oh, I wish. Cuts right off. Yeah, she goes right to a call. Right. Mm -hmm. You've been drinking? I, I've slept um, 10 hours a couple of times. I've enjoyed sleeping. I've woken up uh, 12 hours sometimes. And uh, it's never affected me like that. It's never made me drunk. Never made me drunk. Sleep never makes me drunk. I wake up sober than a motherfucker. Oh, oh, tired makes no me drunk. Kidding, man. I'll tell you one thing. I've woken up hungover, but, but never drunk. Yeah. No. Well, here's another caller calling her out on being drunk. Very good. So what? So you you said you got a great sleep last night, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, where do you live? You live in San Francisco. I do, I'm south of Martha, south of Market. Why don't you just give out the address and prepare well, to be I, stalled? You know, I have before. So <laughs> you have. Yeah, nobody cares. Are you a single lady, or you got a, you got a fella back there right yeah, now doing the some pottery? Guys run around oh, okay. So you're like a, a husband and wife team. Yeah. That's cool. That's so you live together. It? You we're work not together. And wife. No, no, no. Okay, you're longtime partners. No, we're not even long time. We're just like it just happened. Yeah. Okay, you're living the longest one night stand. Yeah, maybe. Okay, and do you have a dog? No. There Would that know. help? No, well, that usually is when the relationship takes another step in your life. <laughs> like we need some other <laughs> living thing in here. Care more about the dog. <laughs> We need something else alive in this for, room. He's going away for the weekend. For, Where's he like, going? This week, he's going to Tahoe with like some guy friends. Oh, uh, nothing's going to happen there. <laughs> I know. 
Tahoe. <laughs> but I'm going like to be like, that's like a religious girlfriend. I'm yes. like, okay, go ahead. If he said Reno, now that would be, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, Are you uh, married, David Tell? No, I'm not. I'm actually married to the Olympics <laughs> right now. I can't seem to get away from it on the internet. All right, let's talk about MySpace. Oh, yeah, let's people talk want to talk MySpace. to you. Wait, tons of people want to talk to you. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Steve, Steve, you're on the air with uh, Darian and Dave. Hey, Darian, on how you doing? FM. Good, how are you? Oh, can't complain, can't complain. I was actually on my way up to Tahoe last week, and you are a virus that has blanketed California. I know. You can be heard on 106.9 all the way past Sacramento about El Dorado Hills. I am Look at you. Escapable. You're loving it. Uh, Stockton, uh, Lodi, Lo Modesto, uh, Santa Clara. Modesto. Modesto. Play. Excellent. So we all love it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just here to, you know, bring reason. That's really? what he wanted to say. He just wanted to say he could hear me everywhere. All right. Uh, Don't you feel good about yourself? I you do. put a lot of hard work I, into know, it. I'm, I'm a, yeah, please. Wow. Yeah, no, I, please. <sighs> Sounds like she's <sighs> having a breakdown, too, man. <sighs> like a lot Mark of stuff. Mark from Fairfield. You're on the air with Darian on 169 Free FM. Dave, you are so funny, and um, I just got to know, how drunk is Darian? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> really <girl>. nice. <laughs> up before you get in there, man. She's drunk with power. Didn't you hear that they can hear all the ways out to Santa Marinos? Yeah. Well, have a cup of coffee, girl. We can hear you slurring all the way out to Fairfield. Dave, you're the best. Thanks, brother. Dave's not even... You know what? I, I have to say one thing. I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I enjoy a drink every now and again and again. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, all I can say is if you're going to drink at your job, make it vodka because no one can smell it. Oh, right. See. You just look like you're really see, intensely actually, thinking about making copies. You did? I did, which is the the irony. What happened? I just decided I was too old. You, you're never too old to drink. <laughs> okay, good. good That's to what know. you're supposed to do. And here you are, you know, in the wine countries. I know. Well, don't you want to have a nice Chardonnay? And, uh, and as soon as I'm bored, I'm like, I'm uh, uh, drunk. God. <laughs> when I'm completely no. sober and crazy, they're like, oh, she's drunk. Being drunk is never boring. Sober. Okay. <laughs> Mario. There's a lot of cleaning involved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I shouldn't have had that up. Wow. You know what I'm surprised at? Huh. I'm surprised that on the radio, like the, the Target didn't come on and they start going, they play the music. <laughs> we'll be back with them. <laughs> Just a cartoon picture of her. Just go to elevator We're music. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> you gotta go find someone else. <laughs> CBS is in hell in the radio world. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. So we got two oh, more qu quick clips here of Darian until drunk Darian. on the air. Hey, uh, Dave, what's going on with Darian? She look wasted or what? Uh, she just seems to be deep in thought. Uh, I thought it was about the Olympics. It's not. She's got two Red Bulls in front of her. Yeah, I know. And um, what? whatever she's on, I wish you would share because I could use a calming influence. Are you yeah, on what? Like... Fisherman friend? <laughs> what, what are you? What are you... I know nothing. That's the sad thing. Oh, like, her man's was... going to. Le Where is he going? Tahoe. He's going to Tahoe. He's maybe going to Tahoe maybe. this week. Maybe I'm just going through loneliness. She's already lonely and he maybe hasn't left. feel sorry for me because I'm going to be lonely. Well, listen, Miss Needy. It's time for you to... <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you can do. This is San Francisco. <laughs> Can't true. you pick at something? Or oh, yeah. Make someone else's life a little harder? Oh, hell yeah. There's homeless people to watch. Let's go out tonight and scrub a few down. <laughs> what do you right. mean? Woo! All right. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta tell you, David Tell saved her ass. Saved her ass. I was gonna ass. say David. Well, I guess not saved her ass because she got fired. Bro. But yeah, he tried his best. God bless it. Nobody less than that could have dealt with that shit. Nah, I would have been like, nah. I gotta go. Dave's like, because he did that show, though. He was a perfect guy, I guess. Right, to be honest. dealing yeah. with drunks all the time. All the time. He's just like, hilarious. Yeah. had even better audio if he wasn't there. We have one more clip of Darian O'Toole. Yeah, we need to fix this. It's ridiculous. Triple eight five hundred one zero six nine. But come on, These lunatics are running wild. It's an issue. Let's take care of it. We have lots more to make fun of. Oh my God, we've got comedian David Tell coming up on.
but <laughs> uh, substitute teacher. He left as a man. He came back as a woman. All hell broke loose. I I don't think it's fair. Gilbert Gottfried. Say no more. College student that loves to make porn on their own. And an SF doctor uh, working without a license. Oh, yeah. We've got some fun. we got some fun coming up here. we got some fun. we got some controversy. we got it all. And it, too. Gary Nicole Show, 106.9, 3 FM. And that was it. Just a sample of her drunk on the air. Oh, Wowie, so kazowie. I got her fired. And they go bye. Bye-bye. She never existed. <clears throat> bye bye. She never admitted she was drunk though. No, she didn't. Maybe she has grounds to get a job back. Maybe. She had pills. She's sick. She's kind of so sick. Giving her up. some pills. A reaction to a pill. Yeah, that that'll probably uh, be the excuse that uh, it was some medication. She never said she was drunk. Needed some medication. Never. And then uh, it's all yeah. speculation. If you're gonna fire somebody for being drunk on the air, you should have a breathalyzer. So when they leave, you got some numbers. Gotta get the numbers. Mm. Gotta get the numbers. That sounded like uh, that sounded like she got quite a few in her, though. You could have a nice buzz and kind of, you know. That sounds uh, like it's more than alcohol. You think it's a little? Uh, Just, yeah, she takes all kind of medicine and pills she and stuff. Take pain medicine. Maybe? Yeah, it probably does. You gotta cut her some slack <clears throat> there. Yeah, she maybe she took that. a really good sleeping pill. She's in pain. But like pain. in the middle of the night. Yeah. You know, you got to take that shit a lot early. No, that sounded a little fresh. She's kind of not like, a little you know, fresh. she's not like a, she's like all across the board. Like, even if she was really healthy, you could see where, yeah. like, her, you know, she could be miserable a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to give her, you know, that. I mean, you, you got cancer. You want to yeah. be able to take some pain pills. Uh, maybe pills. that was it. Drank it probably with a little one cup of vodka or something. something. Ah, maybe, right? Well, a pint. We'll get more. We'll wash it down with a pint of vodka. We'll what's, get more from that problem? story. Let's see if she get a job back. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, maybe she was just on Benadryl. <laughs> like Benadryl. Jeff Conway from Celebrity Fit Club. <laughs> All right. We should take a break. Twitchells is here with his uh, fellow comedians. They're doing the short bus tour. Should we have them, like, try out their act? Of course. Absolutely. All right. Of course. I think Ralphie May is stopping by. He should be here, maybe. Is he around yet? Not yet. All right. Ralphie this May is stopping by to say hi. Oh, skinny well. ass Ralphie. Is he yeah. getting skinny? Yeah. Skinnier? I'm going to leave him alone, too. Me and Ralphie always got some kind of beef. It, it, you know, a lot of motherfuckers, I can fucking fuck around with and shit, you know. Or like from the tough crowd. There's so many people hating from the tough crowd. Dom Herrera can't stand me. Why? He wants me dead. Did Why? people understand it was on TV? Yeah, it's a yeah, show? Yeah, a lot of people just like, fuck, I ran into, what's the, Bobby Slayton? Yeah. I ran into him in an audition. He's like, I refuse to do a show in your own. He seems like a prick. He's not really a prick. He's just, he's, that's Comes his off thing. like one. That, a lot of know? guys, that's, but that's why I get that along. Tough guy. A lot of guys, that's not, that, they, that's not really them. Right. Like Slayton is like crazy, and the, but off stage, he's not, that's not him. He's but then not, you would think he would be fine with you, who you are on, on Tough Crowd. But it's, it, it's the in, insecurity thing. Like I'm a mm. loud fucking asshole. How, I can't, that's not my act. You, you, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not, you know, That's just you. Watch out, baby. Rrr, I'm you and you and you. Wow, I'm going to kill everybody. And then you get off stage, it's like, hi, I'm, my name is Mr. Bobby. Man. Yeah, it's like, oh, come on, man. Don't tell me you said you wasn't going to do it. Cause you know who's the real McCoy? Pat, Pat, uh, uh, um. Cooper? Pat Cooper yeah. is the real fucking McCoy. Yeah, that guy's out of his mind. Definitely. He's, you know, he's not that motherfucker, so. He doesn't hold back. Yeah, he's, Pat he, Cooper was trashing us the other day, actually. Uh, yeah, which, he was doing... You know, he trashes He trashes everything. everybody, and it wasn't... I don't even think Equal it was a legitimate trashing of us. I have no idea what he's, he was trying to he's say. He's trashing us. I would love us. to get him on the show to talk about this He was crap. trashing us God, to trash us Howard. for a lot of bits. We happen to have Pat Cooper audio on. You, are you joking me? And he's trashing us. Play it. He's well, trashing us we don't really in order it, to trash Howard. He was trashing Howard, saying, why did you make these guys famous? It's your fault that these guys are millionaires, uh, and, and it's because of you. Because you, you know, brought them attention. I bet you if you called Pat, he'd fucking talk to you. He's, oh, he would in a second, I know. He's not a phony. Yeah, that, not. that old man is a, just, just a, a crotchety old fucking, fucker. He is not fucking around. Well, he, someone get the word out to Pat Cooper. We'll have him in. Didn't they, like, throw him out of the Friars Club or something? Oh, my God. He's so obnoxious. He was talking about Rodney Dangerfield when he was dying. So It was so fucking brutal. Who cares about Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> <laughs> he said, if just, I'm walking around with a coconut on my head, shoot me. And then Rodney <laughs> had, like, a tumor. He said, he said, oh, he said if I'm walking no. around with a coconut growing on my head, 
my head. Just throw me out the window. It's, that's, it, that's funny, man. Pat Cooper is not a throw bullshit me. motherfucker, man. Throw me out the window. And Rodney Dangerfield would appreciate that joke. Yeah. Hey, is uh, Ralphie May here? No, I haven't seen him. All right, we're waiting for Ralphie May. Then we're going to get these comedians in yeah. from the short bus tour. We'll Round him, boy, who's we'll a big do, fat guy. Yeah, I we'll guess. let him do a little something. And, and then we got a comic with cerebral palsy oh, and geez. a comic with spina bifida. There you go. Short bus. Short right. bus tour. And then tour. we got Twitchell's doing his... And uh, Twitchell's with his uh, Tourette's. Tourette's. So who's, here we go. Who's the leader? <laughs> we'll try to do this real fast before a break. All right. Uh, it's Pat Cooper trashing us in some bizarre yeah. way. Let me tell you something. Anybody can be tough. When they got the microphone and I can't answer. Now I got the microphone and I'm going to tell Howard Stern he's full of shit. Let's start with that. Uh -oh. He turns around and says, I can't handle fame. I left the Howard Stern show because Howard Stern made an ass of himself when he started fighting with Opie and Anthony. What are you talking about? And when he makes Opie and Anthony become big heads, beat his ass in, I said, it's time for me to go away. Because Opie and Anthony, he made the millionaires. You know what Howard made me? $35 a week. That's the fucking difference. Mm. People who help them, he don't help. Is he Pat Cooper? Nah, it, no. I see it as... Just, absolutely not yeah. a trash. Well, what happened was, uh, when Pat Cooper found out that Howard Stern had a gag order on us, he couldn't believe it. And uh, and he's a stand-up guy. He said, you know what, I can't be part of your crap. If you're if you're uh, yep. putting gag orders on that uh, fellow radio guys... That was years ago oh, yeah. when Pat um, didn't do... When he stopped doing Stern. Yeah. Years! Some of mean? the funniest Pat Cooper and some of the funniest moments on Stern's show was when Pat Cooper was on. But, Remember years ago. Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? When he just kept yelling that over and over again. <laughs> Got funnier every time. But what does he mean by Howard made us famous? He's, uh, not, he's, saying, he's saying that... What, you hear at the end, he goes, what does he made me? $35? He's like... Why would you? Why would he give you guys the time of the day? The time of day, right? On so it, basically, what it's saying is, if you, it's like you look up to somebody or you respect somebody, this is like if I look at you guys, like you know what, y'all some of y'all y'all some serious. If I'm out there going, these two are some serious motherfuckers, and then like Joe Blow, the new radio guy, comes around and he goes, "You two bitch ass niggas," and y'all go, "Hey man, forget him. Forget that guy's yeah, an asshole. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to deal with him." Pat, Pat's kind of like. What motherfucker? And 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 I can't make money. You, you it, it's it's he's yeah. not. Tra he's saying, why not him? He shouldn't have given us the time of day. Yeah, right. It's like you 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 represented. Basically, he's giving you a compliment because he's saying you're the guys. Right. He's not. He could have said he, anybody. I, I, he's disappointed in Howard that Howard didn't uh, you know try to fight back. Instead, went behind the scenes. Yeah. With the gag order shit. He couldn't believe that someone like Howard would do that. He's 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 that's saying not the that's, Howard that he thought he knew. Right. He's saying All like right. fucking. He let you guys. Fucking. And he's just a crotchety old. Fuck. And he's a fucking. Yeah. Even if he is trashing you. All right, here we he's go. Pat Cooper. Yeah. More, more, more. I take uh, it as a compliment. A, it's kind of fun. He's a brutal animal. Yeah. More audio. Mm. <laughs> People who help them, he don't help. But he helps fucking Opie and Anthony. But I don't understand. Wait Gary, minute, I never minute, heard wait from minute, you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Shut up, because, Robin. Because he's telling everybody I left because I can't handle fame. That's bullshit. No, that's not true. That's, that's not what he, what he, said. he ever that's, said. No, no, he never said that. He said it a couple of weeks ago. Don't tell me. That you, well, no, he said that that's one aspect of your personality is that you can't handle fame, but that's not why you left the show. Yeah, but I got to know, why did you leave the show? Because I... I know, I left it because when I saw the energy... That he made two assholes, big stars for no fucking reason. But how did he all. do that? I don't know. Oh, oh, holy shit! See that two was assholes, fuck, big stars for no fucking reason. But wh what's the problem with that? You two assholes. <laughs> we are assholes. I'll give, a, I'll give him that. We are assholes. Uh, but he makes it think that Howard made us famous. You gotta, I don't you think gotta that's work what at he's this. saying. You got to work at this shit every day. I you can't think just it's... go on the radio and wait for someone to, right. to start talking I... about you, and then you become famous. You, you become you know big in this industry because you work your balls off and come up with some interesting radio. I think he's saying. I think he knows, and he's innately he that I don't think Howard made you. I think he's saying the the energy that he put into you guys. Yeah. Not that he said, oh, I touched these guys and made them. He's saying. Motherfucker, put that energy into me. Why are you putting energy into these two right, motherfuckers? Right, right. Don't, don't even waste Because he did mention the money. I made $35 yeah. from... $35. Yeah. Let's go back to this. That he made two assholes, big stars for no fucking reason <laughs> But how did he do that? I don't know. Opie and he Anthony, he said, don't you talk to me. I won't talk to you. You're taking my material. I said, he's taking your material. Howard, how the fuck he take your material? There's only one you, Howard. Why do you make assholes get you angry? You can't play in my yard. You got the ball. That's bullshit. So you know what I said? All his energy... And two assholes. 
Why not use the energy on people who do his show much <laughs> more better than those two fucking they, assholes? Why make them millionaires? Man. Why? Because I he made them think, suck. I, I, don't, I don't think that that was his intention. Yes, you was. have no idea yeah. why he took the attitude toward them that I he know, did. He was stealing my material. But that, what that's, material? that's what he Does said. Howard Stern own the... Uh, Does Howard Stern own the bout? Does Howard Stern say, I owe oh, I, I owe oh, you? Who the fuck does this man think? He's not Jesus Christ. And what should he have done for break. you? What should he have done for you? Give me a fucking break. This man don't walk on fucking water. You're saying that energy was misdirected on those two guys that could have gone to people that he likes. So what energy did you not my, get from my him? My argument is this. Why waste your time Let these two assholes become bigger when they shouldn't, because they're dickheads. These two fucking guys are dickheads. You got great guests, not me. I'll give them great that. guests, push them, help them, pick them up in a car once in a fucking while. <laughs> they got to take a fucking subway six in the fucking morning. I blame Cut that. the shit. I blame that on Les Moonves. Am I right? You pick up anybody with a car? Howard don't go for shit when it comes to picking up a fucking car, for picking up a check. Where is he? If I work for Howard Stern, I, I genuinely if I work for Howard Stein, I tell him Howard you're full of shit when he is full of I, shit. Pat, I genuinely don't see how he made the millionaires. I don't see that correlation. I'm maybe because I'm because of the publicity made every paper in the country. Hello for like a minute. And then and then oh, 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 oh. how about a week and we can have two weeks? Everybody said, Pat, I, what is this man? I said, because Howard don't see the forest for the fucking trees. He's <laughs> just going to take his material. He's got no fucking material. <laughs> oh. He is what he is. He's a genius of him fucking self. I'm a genius of myself. I'm A plus company. You understand? So I do. You throw, made, wait a minute. You throw your friend under the bus because you see him making a mistake? No. No, that's not a mistake. That's not a mistake, honey. That's not thinking. He's a genius. Goes to college and he says, let's get two dickheads and make them popular. <laughs> Fuck them. They're two dickheads. Oh, by the way. You two I was fucking dickheads. Howard Stern was picking ants with his fucking nose. Right. Let's mm. stop that. But, what is that. but I don't understand what that means. See, basically, that is so funny. You cannot that be is, mad at Pat No, he's no. just brutal. No, he's brutalizing the entire envelope. He's just pee on the world. He is. Fuck you, fuckster. He's fuck a machine everybody. gunner spinning in circles. <laughs> he's is not what he no is. bullshit. He's just wiping everybody out. <laughs> fuck everybody. He don't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> you could have been anybody, yeah. motherfucking. But you didn't matter. The compliment is that you were the do. You are specifically the dudes who he thinks have have hit that mantle. Right. He didn't mention anybody else. No. So to him, it's like he made you guys. You know, you the guys. But it could have been anybody. He's looking at you as the guys that ain't him. You know I I take it as I'm flattered. To be shit on. I think by that's Pat a compliment. Cooper. I think that's a fucking tremendous. I'm flattered right to be shit on by Pat Cooper. Get Pat God Cooper bless on him. The phone. God Get bless him on Pat the phone. Cooper. <laughs> Get him on the phone. I love him. I He's just an angry. He was throwing punches everywhere. Just a uh, oh. Yeah. Angry. He is legitimately a throwback to like. Man. Oh, there's someone out yeah. there that knows Pat Cooper. Get him. Get him to call the but show. But what now. was he on? Was he on the show? No, it's it, the show after, after the, the show, show. After the show. Don't you know how that works over there, Patrice? It's all about Howard. So he does his show, and then after Howard's show, there's a show that they do about the show you just heard. I kid you not. Was he on the show? <laughs> no, oh, no, Howard doesn't do that. No, he's not allowed. Howard on the, does his show. He's not allowed on the show. He's allowed on the after show. No, Pat, no, no, no. Pat, Pat Cooper wasn't on the show. That's right. He, right. He, oh, okay. He was on the after the show. Yeah. yeah. And Howard doesn't do the after show. See, Pat was on the after show. Not good enough for the show show. <laughs> right. But then they do the after show, and then there's news. It's like you know, about the show and the after show, and then they replay. It's kind of like it's kind of like the post Super Bowl show, and you're a football player, and they just let you kind of throw some passes. This at, from the guy the that Bowl. wouldn't sell T-shirts or coffee mugs with his image because he was worried about overexposure. There you go. Let's uh, let's get through the Pat Cooper audio. There's like a minute left here. Get Pat Cooper on this damn radio program, please. Dickheads and make them popular. Fuck them. They're two dickheads. Oh, by the way. I was around before Howard Stern was picking ants with his fucking nose. Right. Let's mm. stop that. Hard bar that. But I don't know what that means. Because, in, in, because, in, in, because he is not the only one to do what he has been doing. That's been done that. for years. He got in the door because he did it the right way. But he's doing it the best now. I didn't say no. The oh, man is Barry, a fucking relax. genius. As, my, as, as, as far as I'm behind. concerned. A fucking genius. Anybody that loves Stan Kinison, it can't Stan be that fucking Kinison? dumb. Was that revisionist history, or am I missing something? That's how I see it. Victor, Robin and I were just saying, 
I remember he was mad about the Opie and Anthony thing, but the thing that he was mad about was not that Howard made the millionaires. His exact quote was, when he could be quoted this way, was, who the fuck is Howard to tell anybody what to do? Right. That's what it was. That's what the anger was. Not about he made these two idiots millionaires. Uh, that's new. Yeah, all of a mm. sudden now, it's Howard wasn't good to his friends. <laughs> Guys like that are so classic for, for, like, what they focus on. Like, why is he so focused on Opie and Anthony? Like, why is that an issue? Yeah, what, why should what he is, even care about Yeah, them? like, wh Howard, his, Howard's opinion of them, like, what does that involve? Yeah, you know what? If I could have thought of all the things that would have alienated us from Pat, that would have been, like, 150th on my list. Yeah, it's just <laughs> weird that he's focusing on that. It's hilarious. No, it's a great point, you know? It's a good point because he said, uh, Howard, who's been the uh, champion of free speech in a lot of people's and, eyes. And taking on all the yeah. enemies and all that. Yeah, Things like that. All other radio shows. We're the first radio show he did not take on, by the way. The and, first one. Yeah, not on the radio behind the scenes. And the only one, did. by the way. Thank you very much. But he didn't. He he knew he didn't have what it took uh, yeah. to take us on. You know, uh, with his you know his radio show. So, so Pat uh, uh, got pissed about that, and and God bless Pat was able to go right up to his face and say, "Look, you told him to shut up." Uh, you you made them. Uh, uh, you, you went to the boss and and made them uh, not talk about you anymore. And I got a problem with that. Hey, good. I just I find it fun when he calls us dickheads and assholes. It's it's hysterical to and me. And he'll be on the phone. I guarantee I you, he'll call you dickheads on the phone. Yeah, that's you fine. two dickheads. He it's says nothing for me. Let's uh, let's get Pat Cooper on the air. Yeah, I don't know how we do book that. Him. I think he was trying to get on our show a while back. Maybe we have a number for yeah, him. Book him. Let's go to Lou in New York. Lou. Hey, hi guys. Hey. Uh, yeah, I got a little information on Pat. Uh, matter of fact, I know you guys from the downtown. I did your. Uh, Are you a friend of Pat Cooper's? Yes, I am. Then tell him to call the show right now. Well, I don't have his number. Put it this way, I'm an acquaintance. Uh, I used to friend. work some shows with him. Uh, just let you know that he is that way on and off stage. The man is never off. All right. Uh, well, we just uh, we just want to get him on the show. It's great, you know, you're a friend of his, but uh, you know, try to get a hold of him for us. If I can, I certainly will try. And you guys are great. I'm probably one of your oldest listeners. I'm at 60 years old, but you guys make me laugh every day. All right, Lou. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. So there you go. Yeah, Pat. That was good. Ben sent Pat an email. You two dickheads. Good. We'll have him on tomorrow, I bet you. Yeah, dickheads and assholes. You dickheads. Or later today. Dickheads. We make them millionaires. <laughs> no, I mean, you still got to work at the job. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You know, we knew, we knew when we came to New York that it would be a smart move to get under Howard's skin. We knew that, of course. After we got an audience. Yeah, of course yeah. we knew that. But you also have so to do. The, when he, you also he, have to do compelling radio on a daily basis. When he left originally, it was because that um, uh, the gag order. That, yeah, that, that pissed him off. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. But why? Why didn't he come? I, I guess I answered my own question. But why wouldn't he? Why didn't he come? To you guys, like to say, you know, he just goes. Because we're assholes and dickheads. You're dickheads. Right? He's I, like, fuck you. Why go on that show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the gag order, by the way, you know, uh, that was well reported. Funny. You could Google that and read about that. That was a fun uh, few months. Why don't we take a break? Ralphie Mays here. And then we got Twitchells and his comedy troupe. <laughs> short bus tour. Yeah, we'll talk about the short bus tours. The Big Tracks, XM 49. Actually, one of the songs they play on the new channel on XM. We're back with the Opie and Anthony program. What's wrong? What happened? Just giving Patrice the update on Club Soda Kenny. It was in all the papers, you know. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's doing fine. It'll yeah. work out. It looks end. like it's going to work out for him just fine. We don't have an update yet. Yeah, when we do, we'll tell everybody. Yeah. Jeez. We but, also uh, got to say hi to Ralphie May in studio. Ralphie. Right? In hi, kids. How are you? What are you up, promoting, man? Ralphie? Uh, some uh, stupid spot in uh, Poughkeepsie t tomorrow night. Poughkeepsie, huh? Poughkeepsie and then like Hasbrook Heights on Saturday. Bananas? Yeah, bananas. There you go. We know all the clubs. Y'all do know we? all the clubs. Gotto. We we'll make them a lot of money here. <laughs> Y'all do. Yeah. We try. We make your them fans a lot of come money. out and then they gripe at me. Why don't you do the show more often? I said because your brethren uh, shit bags on me all over the message boards. That's why I don't fucking do it more often. What are you yeah, talking about? There you go. Oh, dude, they're fucking brutal on the message see, boards. See another one. We yeah, know exactly. You gotta watch the message boards. You gotta stop reading the message boards. <laughs> Leave oh, them alone, fucking. You just walk awful away. Message board. Just oh, walk no. away. I, I get sent excerpts. 
in email. <laughs> really? This is what they said. Just in case you. you don't go to the yeah, message yeah, board, yeah, yeah. let me cut, uh, cut and paste this uh, <laughs> exactly. excerpt, and you could uh, how, read it and pity how yourself. Shitty you were. Apparently, somebody in uh, Iowa thinks I'm making them fat over the radio. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Who can blame for other people's obesity? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had the surgery? Can asshole. we talk about the yeah, surgery? Yeah, sure, then? sure. Because our own Big Kev had the same thing done. Ralphie, yep. you had your stomach stapled a while ago, right? I had it, uh, gastric bypass in uh, November of 2003, and um, I've lost like 250 pounds since then. Holy and um, shit. Uh, I did that show, Celebrity Fit Club, and I got hurt. Um, I, I did a, I got a huge hernia and I had to have that fixed. And while I was in there, they said, you know, we could take all this whole bottom gut, and all this extra skin. I'm like, really? Wow. Take it off, all right? And the next day, I was in surgery, and uh, they took 40 pounds of gut. I got a lap now. I never had a lap. Holy shit. 40 pounds. 40 pounds. I would make an ottoman out of it. Did you get to see it? <laughs> what? No, no. That would have been cool, though, wouldn't it? Uh, uh, no. So. What is that? Just going to some biohazard waste fucking it's canister? It's, it's, uh, actually, it's actually been donated. Yeah, it's they make no shampoo out of it. No. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, so, they do. I'm telling you, they make shampoo out but of it. But they donate it for someone's like, like Scoliope. Skin graft. Like a guy like Scoliope. Scoliope. They'll, they'll, they'll just put his, give him new eyebrows. <laughs> Half a Hulk face. They'll just post someone's gut out there. The, sorry about the freckles if you're out there and you got my skin. Sorry about the freckles. <laughs> what about, uh, what about, uh, did they have to rebuild your belly button or were they able to cut around it? Yeah, they cut around it and put it back through. Put it back where it belongs. Yeah. That is the oddest goddamn it, thing, man. It is man. so weird. Oh Surgery is just the oddest fucking what they they're doing these days. They just keep asking me to do fucking Celebrity Fit Co., man. Yeah. Just, you should, dude. I, I, ref, I just can't. Why? I, I don't know. My, car, my, my career is more important like, than my health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're already on VH1. It's yeah, not like it's that, a step it's down. Like, it's Jesus. Like, I, can't, I just can't. I just can't have... Somebody, you know, that the, the white girl, you know, thinking that I've been raped. That's why I eat pasta. <laughs> right. Fucking, uh, the, the Lou Gossett character who's telling me have a nice fucking day as I'm telling her, suck my dick. As I'm Your trying gold. to fuck all the fat girls on, <laughs> trying to fuck uh, Tempest and. <laughs> oh, it's all right, fat bitch. Come on. Let's yeah, they got to get rid of the psychologist. <laughs> Your goal, that Patrice, is going to be eight pounds this week. Thank you, Louis. Thank you. I want your D.O.R. I got no place else to go. <laughs> D.O.R. Patrice. Find Patrice hung in the closet. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't, Don't you do it. I got no place else to go. <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you got him all. <laughs> you do. You have them all, do I got nowhere else to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got nowhere else to go. I <laughs> took <laughs> <laughs> that. I got nothing else. I got nothing else. I got nothing else. <laughs> and it's and and another big thing. Ant is the uh, the, uh, the guy. That, Ant's the dude that doesn't have to be on it. Uh, oh yeah. Blech. <laughs> what what Fuck, what's the changed, story with Ant? He has changed. Uh, I don't know how much surgery he's had, but it's apparently a lot. Yeah. Uh, what is he doing to himself? I don't know. He is. Uh, you, you look at the first season to now. Yeah. Completely different guy. I what mean, like, they doing? like, I don't know, Botox. Uh, oh, I would say Botox, hair uh, plugs, hair plugs, going on with the hair. lipo. Wow. Um, uh, there might be even more going on. A little nip that, tuck. That faggy little look he gives at the end of the show, where it's kind of over his uh, shoulder hmm, before he walks the away. Scale. Activate the scale, oh. mm, and he purses his lips oh. and turns around. I want. I want to be a fag basher at that point. Oh. I want to be someone who just punches him in the face for being gay. <laughs> just, I, he makes a face. It's just you guys that, activate the scale. Mm. You guys that do the show, you guys are wimps. You never called him out on his crap. Oh, are you kidding me? I was up there all the time. I go, Ant, can you be a little less get queenie? queenie? Please stop. Hey, it's queenie. About Jesus. Here, queenie. Just a con and uh, whatever. Hey, you say it a little more, Butch. Please stop. I mean, he turns it up. He becomes uh, mm. uh, uh, Paul Lynn for no reason. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. <laughs> hey, it's like, what happened? It's more, not even the gay thing. It's more like, his, you know, he acts like his shit don't stink. The guy's never done a push-up in his life. He doesn't know no, how to exercise or eat right or anything like 
He has that weird yeah, if you're big chest and chastising people. You ought to be uh, a rail. His chest yes. and his stomach are the same size. Like he's completely a barrel, barrel. shape. It's he gets barrel. no ass in Santa Monica. <laughs> Ants are <laughs> fucking four in the village. <laughs> he's a one in Santa Monica. You ever see those Santa Monica fags? They will kick they your ass pretty. and fuck you. <laughs> they they will. Fans. They oh, are shit. fucking built like like those old Greek statues with the fucking <laughs> <laughs> with the leaf on the dick. Right. Those are those fags in fucking Santa Monica and You're and right. that awful ant. And there's ant. Oh man, I almost got beat up by one of those fags in, in uh, L.A. I was uh my my uh trainer was like i want you to walk on this treadmill for four miles and i fucking snapped i'm like four miles are you out of your fucking mind look at that that's like 16 miles of that little faggot over there and i said it way oh, too loud shit. and the little faggot came over and got kind of pissy yeah yeah and you don't want to be beat up by a gay guy <laughs> they don't no, how'd you get out of it uh i said it uh, I, i'm sorry i was just i wasn't talking about you i was talking about that by the way that you look faggot great. over there I was I was talking. Talking, no i said by the way you look great and uh keep up the good work i mean th that's dangerous dude i mean <laughs> that's like going to compton yelling nigger nigger yeah, yeah right. you're gonna get <laughs> fucked up it's not in santa monica dude not in santa monica mm -hmm. no. dude, i don't know if you ever you know they got some good restaurants in santa monica oh is that and why you were there uh? ah, come on <laughs> They gonna turn it into I was hanging out. No. <laughs> this is I, I wasn't the, until they, you fucking made an excuse <laughs> as to why you were there. Right. Hey, they got great restaurants there. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah. Just you know in case what? you're wondering. Uh, you know something? Uh, leaving you alone. You know something? Fa that fucking very fair you called me out on that. I did try to anti-fag myself. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, fags yeah. eat deliciously, <laughs> and I like to eat deliciously, I know, too. This, uh, <laughs> in the middle of that. Because I want to have low carbs. <laughs> In, my life, nigga. in the middle of that, you were starting to see that we're like, what the yeah, hell is Patrice yeah, doing yeah. in Santa Monica? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, I think they're wondering why I was in Santa Monica. <laughs> Santa I'm Monica. I'm, I'm, I'm Look at this little tip in the conversation. between uh, whores and sissies uh, in, in L.A. You, can, you know, have you ever seen the textile production in Santa Monica? <laughs> I was doing some uh, studying on I think, uh, opening a factory there, and uh, textiles are a great uh, export of one of my hobbies. I thought you were uh, <laughs> I really got called that. You know, I deserve that. Yeah. I really was trying to anti. Hey, you try to turn around on me. I eat beef. See, a lot of times, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Listen, we got to get Twitchells and the gang oh, in here. Shit. You want to watch some comedy, Ralphie? And, sure. And, and comment? Sure. That's what we're yep. going to do tonight. Anyone else? We got to get a bunch of guys in here for this. That's uh, what these guys with, do. They let's do start with Twitchells. Comedy. Get Twitchells in here. We got first. Twitchells. This is the uh, short bus comedy tour. It's got, we got Twitchells over here. He's got Tourette's. And uh, he's a stand-up comic. Yeah, what's up, guys? How you doing? I'm actually pretty calm today. Are you? You didn't have uh, as many Red Bulls or uh, anything well, like that? Well, you know, no. They weren't shoved in my face this time, so I figured yeah, I didn't Yeah, have and if, to. if you say jump or he sees jump, the word jump too many times, he has to jump. It's part of my OCD. Are you thing. serious? Yeah, because I have obsessive compulsive disorder. I was diagnosed when I was seven with Tourette's, and I also have OCD. So whenever I hear that word, it kind of triggers it. And, he, and in order to feel better, he's got to jump. It's like a thing. We're gonna have wow. A, yeah. So really, if you say jump, he has yeah, he like jumps how high. Not, yeah, so he's jumping yeah. right now. Jump, how high? <laughs> Uh, then there's uh, fabulous. Jimmy Graham. <laughs> Make him do it again, Anthony. Sex Jump. is great. <laughs> is that great? <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Jump. Jump. <laughs> See, I said my tits were calm That's before I came in here. That's That's awesome. Isn't that great, man? That's great, man? Wait till we do it in front of uh, about a thousand people uh, next Friday night. Oh, Friday right. night, Friday, uh, 11 Friday up to 2 p.m. Right. Oh, 11 to 2, we're broadcasting. 11 right? to 2, we're at Hard Rock Cafe Hard Rock next Square. Friday for, for St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. Hi, oh, St. Patty's Day. And uh, Twitchells will be there jumping for everyone because that's all you're going to yeah. hear from the crowd is jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's very good to know that that's important. We want you to sing oh, like yeah. a karaoke song with the word hey, jump. Hey, man, I'm up jump. for it. I'm up for it. Jump. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was that? I love when we got newbie in the studio. Was that, was that there in O2? He just, he just has to do that, Ralphie. Oh, okay. Sometimes you just have to release. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's yeah. just like, what is it like, build up, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like an itch you can't itch, and you try to control it, but eventually you're like, oh, you just fuck gotta it, I'm going to let it, it loose. The in high thing? school, I would yeah. always let it loose when you I got yell, home. You like a cunt for no reason? Uh, I, used to yell, uh, I, I used to yell a lot of... 
uh, vulgarity, but that, that's uh, actually kind of decreased when I got older. So now it's more like the facial tics, the grunting. I had this one tick where I, or uh, you guys haven't seen much, uh, but I do like the. The head tick sometimes, and with my, you know, that's like a whole my upper head body it's like tick. a blowjob tick. It's oh, it's it's really really bad. It really is because that times my neck starts to hurt. Then my doctor will give me muscle relaxers to try to calm it down and everything. It's just it's crazy to handle. But I'm not, not I'm not Santa Monica with that. And for the record, I, I'm not there, medici- medicated for I my heard that. Therese told me delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> we we do all <laughs> we do all sorts of bets with uh, Twitchells, by the way. Yeah, I'm psyched about the Short Bus Comedy Tour. The guys are here to uh, talk to you guys about it and everything. This is really yeah. going to be a fun tour. It's uh, what we got. Uh, Mike, he's got cerebral palsy. Yeah, we have this really. We have a really good lineup of comedians. This is four comedians. It's myself, of course, Wes Tourette's, and we got a comedian named Mike Cateo, who's yeah. uh, really, really uh, getting his name out there in New York. He has cerebral palsy. Cerebral, cerebral. or cerebral? C- cerebral, cerebral. I don't know how to say it exactly. Oh, cerebral palsy. Uh, uh, then we have Timmy Grill. Tim Grill, who has uh, spina bifida. Spina bifida. <laughs> spina bifida. I blame his parents giving him the name Timmy. And then oh, uh, Timmy oh, fucking <laughs> hacks. <laughs> <laughs> those, are all characters, those are all characters from X-Man 3. <laughs> Cerebral palsy man. <laughs> Spina bifida. Spina bifida. And then we <laughs> Shoots growths out at you from his spine. <laughs> and then we have Jimmy Graham, who's our uh, token fat guy. He actually used to be my uh, wrestling coach when I was a kid. But he's not even that fat. I uh, you can have a fat. <laughs> Man, have a... I feel disappointed. Yeah, right. He's one of the two fat men in the room right now. No, but we're it's not cool the because he actually, yeah. here well, he actually like teaches special ed too, so he has a really. Oh, good he does. So he's back. kind of the driver of the short bus. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's what I was that's talking good. about last week. Everybody we didn't know that it was my wrestling coach. You put this together. Yeah, like, we're going on. Yeah, I put trip. it together. I thought of it. And I approached the guys. And, and where's it going to be? Uh, we're at? premiering at the Laugh Factory April thirteenth, nine o'clock p.m. That's Thursday, April thirteenth at the Laugh Factory, and that's when we're kicking it off in New York. Right. Say that again. The one in New York. <laughs> yep, right here in Times Square in New York City. It's uh, going to be April 13th. We're really psyched about this. All the info will be on my site, laughterbylou.com. And, um, oh, you really are calm today. <laughs> some days are just to like me, this, huh? Some days, you know what? Some days I have my close friend and I mean, family. It's fine. It doesn't it, matter. It, it, I mean, I'm just saying some days, celebrity. some days oh, it's like that it's and huge. some days it's I not. I was in Philly and I said, listen, you because I'm looking at him like an open mic hack that he is. You know, and he goes, I said, why don't you come come by, you know, if you're in Philly? He goes, I, I might, but I might have some things to do. I'm like, hey. what no, 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 <laughs> no, no, he asked me the you day he was so doing it. Like, now, wait a second. You the fucking, day he was You fucking Tourette middle? No, 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 no. I'm not, no, no. no. So don't even go there. He told me. The he wanted me to he said, give me a spot not. when he was doing Healy, I'm right? Booked. I was doing that chiller theater. I was doing the chiller theater event already. A fucking theater. I was already booked. Ah! Well, yeah. what do you do, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, right back at you, bitch. Give me, give me a <laughs> I let this mo- I was like, hey, come on through and, you know, people will love it. Yeah. Uh, don't know, man. I didn't say I don't know. I said, yeah, man, I love it. Not, not one bit of Tourette's. All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see, Patrice. I yeah, maybe I'll be there. there. Yeah, maybe. He lives yeah. five minutes away. So Dude, yeah. I am so. Uh, I'll get right over there too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so psyched about the ringtones because that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you. Because I met the it's guy in Chill Theater. Oh my fucking! He's gonna, he's gonna make a bloody fortune with the because ringtones because he goes bring sometimes. <laughs> I want that on my phone. I'll tell you right now. Dude, I, I, thank cool. you, man. I really appreciate that. I want you that. That recorded too. Only here is low ringtone. You record that for me before you leave. I'm throwing that on my phone. That dude, you'll get you'll get hooked up. It's really funny because uh, we're really excited about it because it's coming out really soon, and that wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you. Oh, look at Ralphie doesn't know what to say. I love it. Let's I gotta be honest with you, y'all are like the best pranksters in the business. I don't know if he's faking. I gotta be honest with you. I we know, went through I, that period with him. We're like, this has got to be a, a thing. I but, get that all the time. But it's not. There's too much just energy being expelled by him to do this. I mean, like, trust me, there's. T- he's like in pain, and and when he's not in here and just sitting out there, we've had him out there for sometimes two, three hours, and you glance over and he's just like in the chair, all contorted and twitching. Too much work. This yeah, that would be too work. much. You would really just tire yourself out <laughs> trying to pull that off. Craig in New York. Yes. Hey. hey, what's going on, guys? What's... I wanted to know when we were going to do some uh, Twitchell betting again. Me and my guys at work want to put some bets down. You want to do one quick bet? <laughs> Ralphie's never is. seen it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Tourette's phone. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, my, my Tourette's is ringing. <laughs> that would be when the phone, you know, rings. Yeah. And then you got to get one for, like, a text message. Yeah, there you go. Text message is coming in. And then you have a voicemail. <laughs> when you turn that down, put that shit on. Oh, cough break. How do these guys get ringtones? <laughs> you guys, uh, the ringtones are coming out really soon. They're just fixing out some technical stuff. You can go to laughterbylude.com to get the ringtones. All right, good enough. And it'll be available on a lot of other All sites. Right. So, Craig, what do you want to bet on today? Uh, I'm, do we going to do the times again or what? Yeah, we can do a quick bet on the time thing. All right, how long he can stand there without... Like an outburst. And I could do facial tics, you guys said. Yeah, you're allowed to do facial tics. <laughs> All right, got Just it. any kind of vocal outburst. <laughs> we go completely uh, silent, Ralphie, yeah. and then we try to figure out how long he can <laughs> stay silent before he has to do his thing. I've had a lot of practice. I can do this. I mean, I'm really mellow today. Oh, All right, that'll I help know. with the betting. <laughs> that kind of changes it up. And they love betting in their cubicles. They love yeah. this. Hey, but, you know what? I, I want to give a shout-out to my MySpace people. They're awesome. They love this stuff. They love the betting. That's been a really favorite one. <laughs> I only got like four bucks. Uh, I don't have a five or anything. I'll put it in though. Damn. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to do cheap this was, bets this today. This is an unexpected I know, I know. Switch, switch sighting. I mean, I got some. Uh, oh, I need go. like. Oh, I got buck. like a 10 and some 20s. That's all I got. What are we doing? $5 a man? Something like that. I got it. $5. $5. There we go. I need the box. $5 a man. $5. Anybody else want in? You need some more? We'll do one big bet. Whoever wants in, just come in with your Too pot. Fitty. Yeah. I, got, I, got, I got him in. Patrice is throwing I change him in. in. He's got change. Oh, no. Patrice just that? threw that money like he was driving through a toll. <laughs> <laughs> just rang. I don't know what that was. I got you, Patrice. Anyone, no. have, anyone have change? There's, There's change, change in there now. There's change in there now. Take no, out right. 15 seven. for your yeah, 20. Oh, all right. All right. Here you go. There it is. All right, who's in? Write down your write down how long you think he could last before he has to scream and yell. I need a pin. All right, and I'll take uh, I'll take yeah, all bets here. Pen. I'm not going to take one of the pens out of there. Let's see. When Jimmy put up his ass, mm -hmm. Jimmy was a little annoyed that people were chewing on the ends of the pen, so he took one pen and stuck it up his asshole and put it in with all the pens, and that way you never know if you're getting a pen <laughs> that Jimmy had up his ass. <laughs> Right. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> All right, get your bets in in Radio Land because we're going to do this in the next couple of minutes. All right, let me think. How long will he stay <laughs> quiet think. before he starts? I really want to nail this one. With his Tourette's. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a new one, nigga. That was... Yeah, that was all so smooth. Um, um, <laughs> if you got your bets, hand them in. American werewolf. Hand them in. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Dude. Stay on the road. <laughs> Stay off the moors. Have you seen Thea for Doll on wrestling? What? She she's a wrestler. She plays one of the wrestlers' mothers now. What? Who? Thea. She's really? Ralphie. She plays um. What's the what's the black uh uh what's his name? Sean Benjamin. She plays his mama. Oh, you know. Really? Yeah, I had lunch with Mark Henry two weeks ago, right before a raw. Hey, she yeah. said that. All right, let's names. See. Yep. How'd you have lunch with Mark? Did he fucking... Let's get all the bets in here. It was one of those, like, pretty oh, promo man. things right before the match. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. Then and I might have to split the pot. Well, that's uh -oh. only $32. Anyway. There we go. It's only 32 because Patrice had 250 There I should got only be 30 five. It's actually 250 more than everybody. Oh, I right, leave yeah. it in there. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I only have leave five bets, though. We need... Hold on. I, I got I got, oh, yeah. I got. to think here. Anybody else? Anybody else outside want to want to bet? $5. $5 a man. Give her. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good one. We're just waiting for Anthony's bet, and we'll uh, we'll do this fast. And I'll give it to you, too, you mother. Let's see what you got there. Holy crap. Sorry. What? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. I turned my volume way down, bro. <laughs> wow. It's awesome. You gotta back up a little when you know one of those is coming in. Pterodactyl. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. It's a Holy baby pterodactyl. Yeah. Crap. I don't even know when it's coming. Anybody else? All bets are in? All right. All right, we got to get him on the clock. We're gonna use the old uh, stopwatch. We got watch. Mm -hmm. Who's not betting? E Rock. I'm not. All right, you'll you'll be the official timer. <laughs> okay. You ready? I'm ready, guys. So I'm all set. As soon as you say go, he's just gotta shut the hell up as long as he can. Mm. Here we go. Bets are in in Radio Land. We're gonna go in a couple seconds here. Twitchells, go.
Coming up on the 30 second mark. Right there. Forty-seven. <laughs> what was it? Official forty-eight seconds. Officially forty-eight. Who had forty-eight? God damn! I had fifty-seven. I was really I hoping was you were calm today. And seventy-two <laughs> seconds. Well, you know the, the silence, the staring at me that adds to the pressure. Patrice had forty, so I guess he wins if, if it's forty-eight. You missed by a second, Anthony. How did I miss by a second? Forty-eight would give you nine seconds away. You had fifty-seven. Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, forty-five, six, seven, nine. You're right. Forty-eight. Maybe 48, we split. I had him in. Damn you it. lost by a second. Ralphie May had seventy-two seconds. Motherfucker didn't even have enough money to put in. I know. I pay my man Ralphie back. Let me get some change. Pay my man. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, Ralphie, got change for you. Not bad. Ah, not a bad day's work. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I am a mush when it he comes to this guy. He got a free sandwich out of there. They were I think thrilled. everyone's won at least one. I have not won one bet on this guy. They they uh, they loved it on Pal Talk because the faces he was making to oh, make sure yeah. he didn't oh. do anything. <laughs> all right. Well, there you a go. Mess. We usually do that all morning long and just waste time. <laughs> Let's say hi to Nathan in Arizona. Nathan. Yeah. Hey. Hey, as uh, Colin C. for Alfie, we talked about that stunt he pulled on the radio station here in Arizona a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. It was phenomenal. One of the guys, um, they uh, took uh, this uh, serosynchronous fluid that's being pumped out of me by the wound vac, and uh, they <sighs> dunked it on a tater tot and ate it. Swear to God. All right. No. It was the most gross no thing I've ever seen in my life. way. Wait, you got, what's going on with you? I got this uh, pump, the wound vac, and there's this fluid. It looks kind of like apple juice. It's a blood product. It's a serosynchronous fluid or something like that. I can't pronounce it properly. I, I apologize. And that's pumping into your system to help it's out being, the wound? No, it's being pumped out oh, the, to keep the wound dry. Isn't that... <laughs> Is that the, exactly, that's a, that's brother? Feeling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is that the gunk produced by the lymphatic glands? Why, well, I, I believe it is, sir. Can we see what yes. it looks like? Yeah. Oh God. Do you have to carry oh, this Oh God, around? I yeah. cannot look. No, it's not bad. I, I know it is. Everything. You have to walk look, around. It's in a little. So it's like it's like that juice. It's a little purse. Look, you can see it in the line. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much have you collected today? I just uh, changed the thing, and so not much. Get the uh, pal talk camera over there a little bit. How much? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I know it's gross. I'm sorry. I have wound problems. How much uh, do you collect a day? Um. It looks like maybe there's a couple shots worth in there right now. Nah, not even the one. Really not even one. Oh, okay, <laughs> if you tilt it like that, yeah, not even yeah. one shot. No. It, it's not a lot of juice. It's not the wound's not that big. It was before. It was like uh, I was getting like 300 milliliters a day, which is a lot, dude. It's a, that's, that's a pain in the ass. You got to how, how long you got to carry that thing around with a tube in you? Um, uh, probably another three weeks. And you're still doing weeks. comedy? Do you place that on a stool next to you? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I, I dress it up like a puppet and do a ventriloquist <laughs> act. <right? laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I unplug it. I unplug it. Yeah. And just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's Holy what it sounds shit. like when you unplug it. Dude, that is so like, scary, dude. Nobody dunked a tater tot in that. Swear interview. to God, dude, and they got pictures of it. It's on KUPD's website. Holy shit! Yeah, and and, and I heard you got a guy here who licked a booger from uh, Voss's oh, booger. booger. That's, oh, that's, that's pretty oh, gross. That's but Bill. Got to, that's Voss pulled Bill. one out where it was hanging a good five inches from the tip of his finger. Uh huh. There was and one of those bungee cord ones. There's a oh, bungee one, thick, too, whitish, man. greenish, oh. and uh, it, uh, very viscous and rubbery. And, and oh, and nicotine. Bill, out. Yeah. Oh, that's what gave Dana Reeve the the cancer. Oh. <laughs> and Bill stuck his tongue out and touched it with his tongue, thinking it was just going to touch and come off, and it stuck to his oh. tongue. So he kind of had to fight oh. it a little <laughs> to get it off, and it was <laughs> It's like horrific. Wacky Wall Walker. Yeah, yeah. Wacky Wall Walker, definitely. You throw it, and it goes dink, 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 dink down the wall. He was playing tug of war with that thing. Oh, it was oh horrendous. <laughs> All right, so go. what do we want to do now? We got uh, we got the guys from the Short Bus Comedy Tour who are jump, here. Jump, All right, jump, let's get some jump, more of jump, our guys jump, in here if they want to check out jump, some comedy. Jump, 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 jump. That was a good jump. Look good. at my sign. 
Yeah. It's you got, a, you got a nice sign, Anthony. Give there it. you go. All right, Twitch was on the uh, Pal Talk camera jumping up and down. <laughs> so why don't we get more people in to check out the comedy? Where's Nathaniel? Where's, uh, who else wants in here? We need an uh, audience. <laughs> These guys are great guys. I mean, the whole point of this is we want to spread awareness, but we're not taking ourselves too seriously. Uh oh, I don't like spreading awareness of any. <laughs> not... Yeah, we just want to open laugh at you. Mommy will be in a minute, baby. Mommy, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, he does, a, he does a sound from every age. <laughs> two two months to twenty years old. Yo, essay. What up, yo? What's up? What's going on? Who's that guy? I don't know. Just not. <laughs> You're home. Bear back. Hey. All right, so we're going to use that, we're gonna use that mic. Move the mic back a little bit. Twitchels, why don't you introduce these guys one by one, and they'll come in and try to do a couple minutes of uh, their act, okay? All right, sure, sure. Who are you uh, going to start with? We'll start off with uh, we'll start off with a guy, a good friend of mine named Tim Grill, who has spina, uh, spina bifida. <laughs> All right. And, and uh, is he going to... Is he gonna do the act Terrific. first, and then we'll talk to him? Terrific. So, like, it's bring totally him on up stage. To him. Yeah, do that. Do like, bring him on stage. <laughs> yeah, bring yeah. him on stage. Bring him on bring stage. Him on leave stage. again. Leave. Yeah, again. yeah. 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 Get, get, get out of the room. Yeah, yeah leave, leave again, room. and and we'll have him bring you on. Yeah, turn down the lights a little bit so these guys feel yeah, turn a little bit down. comfortable. Just a little, a little bit. bit. The humans will attack first. All right, here we go. We will lead it with spina bifida <laughs> and juggernaut, <laughs> cerebral, <laughs> cerebral palsy, and spina. Twitchels, I'm assuming you're going to be the MC. You're going to do some of uh, well, your act, and then you're going to introduce the other guys, right? Yeah. We, All right, so give them the big on that. Club I'll, I'll intro. intro. All Maybe. right, we got Tim Grill coming in here. He is the... No, 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 no. Well, what? No, no. Oh, 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 the, oh, he asked you to do it. I'm introducing you. Oh, okay. So you can... Ah! Well, calm down, Ladies motherfucker. and gentlemen, welcome to Caroline's on Broadway. <laughs> the most important fucking place on Earth. <laughs> At the crossroads of the galaxy. Yeah. Hey, everybody, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Thanks for coming out this evening. Thank you very much, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. Uh, listen, folks. Uh, turn your cell phones down um, and keep your table talk to a minimum. There's a two drink minimum. Other than that, there's no rules. So uh, tonight we're gonna bring him on stage. You know him from the Opie and Anthony show. You know him from making fun. Oh, 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 Okay. Patrice, the red light's on. Okay. You're going to fucking go over on this, too? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Combo, combo. Combo. Maybe later in the show. Later in the show. Where's the glass dildos? <laughs> <laughs> it's raining stuff. Calm down. It's raining things. All right. Hey, it's cold out here. Okay. <laughs> Get it? It's all cold right. out here. Go on Foundry. <laughs> FoundryMusic.com. You can hear all that stuff. And you may have known this next guy also from O&A. O&A! Oh, all right, um, everyone. All right. And, uh, okay, settle down a little bit. Just keep your yelling down to a minimum. Um, so this next guy, you've heard him on the O&A show, and you've also seen him um, doing funny things that you don't know what the fuck is, and, and he makes people uncomfortable. He's a really funny comic. Please give it up for Twitchels, ladies and gentlemen. Twitchels. Yo, yeah. what's up, people? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the show here. Thank you so much for that warm welcome, Patrice. I really appreciate it. All right, we're going to bring up our first comedian. He is a really funny guy. They call him the Barely Jump. Pen. Yeah. <laughs> the Barely Can Stand Up wait, wait, Comedian. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't do a joke. You should at least do a joke. <laughs> no, because every time I try to do a joke, you guys just rip it apart. It's so different than being do in a club. Do a joke. Wow. <laughs> I get my it's like quagmire. Do one joke, get a laugh, and then you move on to the next comedian. But I, so I, you know, the, everyone asked me, what does it feel like to have Tourette's syndrome? And the other day, I was I was uh, in the Kmart uh, having Tourette's. This is a true story, actually. This just happened. This lady walks up to me, and she, she heard me doing my like, running tick. This is the one where I'm like, <laughs> where's Big A? <laughs> Say 
I told you. Shut up. Do your joke. Joke. So the lady comes up to me. She says, I, I, I'm sorry. I heard you grunting. If you need, there's a water fountain. This is the camera. This really happened to me. And I told her. I said, no, I do. It's fine. I'm opening them up front with people. I said, I have Tourette's syndrome. That's why I'm making those noises. I swear to God, this lady did this to me. She looked at me, puts her hand on her heart, opens her eyes, and says, oh, my God. Says it just like this. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you had Tourette's. I hope I didn't offend you. I swear to God, this happened two weeks ago. So I look at her and I say, It's okay, but please don't talk to me. Where's me? Oh, and they roll. See, this is why it doesn't work. Bringing out our first comedian, folks. He's right, called first the comedian. barely can stand up comedian because he has spina bifida. The one and only Tim Grill. Let's hear it, folks. <laughs> Bring him <my> in. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How's everyone doing? Great, good, man. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, bizarro comedy here. It's the first time I've ever been introduced by a goat. Uh, <laughs> you know, right there? Yeah. Being with this guy is exhausting. I swear to God. He's the only guy who gets road rage on a train. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. That? I uh, I am a disabled guy named Timmy. I'm cursed with that name. I, uh, <laughs> a, uh, being, tiny and being named Tim and having a crutch when I was a kid got me the lead in the school Christmas play every single year. I can tell you that much. Uh, you know, uh, I was born with spina bifida. A lot of people don't know what that is. Uh, it's pronounced spina bifida. The reason I say this is because I still have five family members coming up to me all the time. They're like, how's that spinal syphilis treating you? And, uh... I got to tell them all the time, my syphilis ain't got nothing to do with the spina bifida. Thank you so much, really. <laughs> Dude! 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 We're looking at this, is, this is how they treat us. Yeah, exactly. You got to love it. I love it! <laughs> I, I, I think it's funny. Oh, he's fucking genius. All right, a little more. I like a little it. More. A lot of times when a girl asks me what uh, spina bifida is, I, t I tell her, I'm honest, I say spina bifida is a condition that gave me a uh, giant penis. <laughs> oh, which is the... <laughs> Which is the reason I walk the way I do. Uh, oh, like, that's why I walk the way I fucking do. <laughs> yeah. I got spina bifida. It gave me a fat cock, you whore. Oh. Now, who said it was curable? Who said, didn't you say last week it was cure? You thought it was curable? I believed that, um, am I heckling right now? <laughs> yes. I believe yes. from the limited knowledge I have of spina bifida <laughs> is that if a baby comes out with spina bifida, they can correct it. Uh, they're doing, uh, do you mind, man? Listen to this. This is all the way up in the train up here. Two oh. hours. Uh, they're doing uh, surgery in utero, so they are trying to uh, oh. fix it, but it's not curable. No? No. What is the, what after in 1970 was definitely not curable. Oh, well, I didn't think that. <laughs> not in 1970. Yeah. Still, uh, the, reason, the reason we're doing the story through the short bus is, well, you know, I can, I can speak for me. I understand, but in black 1970... Always, black people always uh, complain that they had a ride on the back of the bus, but you know what? At least you guys got the ride on a normal bus. Oh, no. We still have an entirely different bus this day, man. The little, the little uh, short yellow bus. You know? It's funny because it's true. <laughs> I want to shout. I want to protest. I want to shout. Let my people go. <laughs> the problem is, as soon as you let my people go, most of us hit the pavement, you see, so we can we can't Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Tim yeah. Grill. Wow. Thank you Tim so much. Grill. Thank Timothy you. Grill. I, I want to know a little bit more, though. Yeah, now, uh, sir. now we uh, now I got to know, know about comedian. it. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, you said 1970. 1970. Boy, and you come out and you have uh, what amounts to uh, a big um, pomegranate on your back, I guess. Uh, well, it's a hole in the spine. It's a hole. It's a in, hole. Yeah, it's a hole. They, 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 I had major spine surgery in ten hours or whatever after I was born, and they close it up. And uh, they just I have a pretty mild. I have a pretty mild case of it. There's, yeah. there's kids out there that have like just really bad wheelchairs, bedridden. Some of them. So I got. I actually got lucky. If you can but believe that. But but now, I mean, if a kids born now with it. I don't know. I you know I haven't followed up on, on what. Jeez, I, really nice throwing yourself into the uh, problem. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean, I haven't. I've seen stories where they're doing uh, surgery in utero, but I don't know uh, yeah. how well it's going. Cause where it is that? Started Near Denmark, I believe. <laughs> Is that the only place you can in go? In utero? Yeah, I believe it's there. Uh, Czechoslovakia. It's <laughs> wonderful awesome, the windmills. Uh, country. I've heard that. Yes, wooden right shoes and they, uh, it's, it's wonderful. Tulips. Yeah, because so, uh, oh, no, you, you, yeah, you seem kind of, you know, you got a little limp, but that's fine. Any yeah. other problems that, besides the limp, that uh, kind of hidden problems that you yeah, got to deal of, with on a basic yeah, you, you know, just, day? Uh, I've had problems with my kidneys and stuff like that. Different really? It'll oh, do yeah. things like that? I don't know if that's the, you know, if that's, I, I mean, I suppose it is, but, you know, I've had, I've had 13 surgeries. Just because there's a hole... 
There was a hole. It messes up everything else with it. In your back? Does it go right through to, like, your back? What, to my front? No. It's... No, I mean, I, yeah, right through to your front. <laughs> I'm I mean, with a hole completely through me. It's your back, and then your spine is involved? Yes. And he also... Yeah, what about your spinal cord? If your spine cord? is exposed, then, you know... Yeah. Also... What about your spinal cord, though? Like, what? wouldn't that dry out if it's just kind of <laughs> hanging out in the breeze like that? Well, I don't think they, they, they hang out a window for any length They kind of, time. you know, seal yeah, it right up. I think they kind of work on you right away. There you go. Uh, no, he right. also has mullet osis. <laughs> <laughs> mullet osis. <laughs> the only one that can stop mullet osis is Colossus. Colossus. <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus osis. You oh, are. Use your bifida beam <laughs> to kill the mutants. <laughs> did, you want us to, did you want me to bring the other guys in too? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, let's move on to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Very informative. Thank you, Tim. Right? The next guy like coming in is a very, very funny comedian in the New York scene, Mike Cateo. He has uh, cerebral, cerebral, whatever palsy. Whatever it's called. Whatever it's called, palsy. <laughs> Mike Cateo, people. There he is. Hey. How you up? doing, Mike? All right. So, you know, people always stare at me on the street like there's something wrong with me. Like at any minute, they think I'm going to walk up to them and say something like, I like milk buds. <laughs> they are delicious. I dress myself. I look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my helmet? But you guys, I don't wear a helmet. Come on, that's just retarded. <laughs> you know, I uh, I did that joke for my mother once, and um, afterwards she looked at me all sad and serious, and she goes, "Oh, do you remember that?" Apparently, I had to wear a fucking helmet. <laughs> No, ha, ha, jokes on me. Oh, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Funny. Those are bonus points. That's Thank very you. funny, man. Thank you, man. That's hilarious. That's why we hired him. Jump! We're <laughs> <laughs> fucking with each other. This is awesome. Who's the headliner? Oh, oh you should see what the uh, the tour looks. Like. Oh, the headliner is Round Boy Jimmy Graham. He's actually in the new uh, movie coming out in September with Mark. Oh, Walker. the guy outside is the invincible. Yeah, the yeah he used so this to is be... the order of the show. Yeah, this is basically the order of the show. Right, let me I am do gonna another joke or two. Then we'll get to yeah, we'll get to a couple uh, more. Round Boy, yeah. Round Boy, huh? more jokes. Yeah. yeah, whatever you got. Yeah, you're doing good, man. You're killing. <laughs> In a room of five people. Awesome, yeah. like last night. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I haven't really been on a date in a while because uh, dating's hard for me. I never know if they like me for me or they're just in it for the parking spaces. Because <laughs> they're good fucking spaces. Come on. You need to run an errand. I'm your man. And uh, I use. <laughs> Thanks for the cheese. Like, you know what's funny about him? He is a, is a tag. He has tag like like the, uh, all right, folks, and nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah nice talking to you. Take good spaces. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. Take good spaces. And, you know, I, great. I used to be a social worker. That's what I did for like five years, and it was a pretty cool job. Every once in a while, I'd get to help a person get over their feelings of suicide. And I felt really good about myself. Till like the fourth or fifth time it happened. Then I was like, dude. Just do it. <laughs> really, it's not worth it. You're stressing me out. Come on, I could help. We'll take you down to the subway. Look at the way I walk. I'll say I tripped. <laughs> no big deal. Your mother said she'd help. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this nigga's funny. I'm, t- <laughs> I'm telling you. This nigga's- he doesn't deserve fucking, <laughs> fucking whatever he has. I don't. You're right. I'm cheating. <laughs> Tell the guy yeah, deserves- Jeff. Tell the guy deserves what he got. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh, use your bifida bean to <laughs> take <laughs> other people's fucking afflictions. <laughs> now, he has cerebral palsy. Right. Cerebral. Cerebral. Is that how you say it? Cerebral? Is it cerebral? This guy doesn't deserve it. Cerebral. Cerebral. He I'm fucked up. That, Cerebrum. Really. He just goes on <laughs> fucked up. It was a guy last he night. He needs something at the, else because he's pretty good. He's fucking funny. Thing he yeah. got passed. Who had cerebral palsy, and he was much more fucked up than this guy. But yeah. not as funny. Yeah, but not as funny. Not as yeah. funny. Not as funny at all. Helmet joke, dude. Thank well, God, I uh, thought you were going to say he was much more funny than this no, guy. No, uh, no, no. Well, no. that's uh, Mike Katoya. Mike Katoya. Funnymanmike.com. Funnymanmike.com. A pen. A young. What's the pen that passed away? Chris, Chris, Chris Penn. Penn. Oh, Chris Penn? Chris really? really? Chris Penn? I, I see it. Something. My, my Dude, all white people look alike to you. Through. That guy yeah. looks nothing like Chris somebody, Penn. <laughs> who does he look like? And it's somebody. It's somebody he looks like. Look at him. He just said it. He just said it. His father oh, says what? Tom Cruise. 
Tom Cruise. I've done that a lot. Yeah. When I was really? Nigga, yeah. Tom, after a car Tom accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, in half a vanilla sky. <laughs> <laughs> Should we bring out our next guy, the headliner? No, man. No. We want, man, we want more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring out uh, our next uh, comic. Well, Do you want to talk to the comedian about the interview process now? Or? Uh, I think, no. No? All right. All right. Uh, Let's move on to round four. Uh, headliner. Now, this is a uh, really funny guy uh, who used to be my wrestling coach, and we didn't know it until we met about a year and a half ago when I started doing comedy. Is this guy a gym teacher? Uh, actually, you he's say a wrestling special, coach. specialized teacher. No, he's coached wrestling, and he also is a teacher in, in the school doing Was he uh, a gym teacher? <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's ever a gym teacher. Did he, he looks like a gym did teacher. Did he touch you in your uh-oh? <laughs> Right Ladies there. and gentlemen, that was, is, that was the, yes, that was the yes, playback of the radio. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> you'll, see him, you'll see him in the new film, Invincible, starring Mark Wahlberg and Greg Kinnear. He by uh, co-stars in that, uh, coming out in September by Disney. It is the Round Boy of Comedy. So why Round is he hanging with you guys? Oh. oh, give me a break. Round Boy Jimmy Graham. Yeah. Woo. Round Boy. What's up, boys? Wow. What's up, round boy? What's up, man? We got round boys in the house. What's up, round boys? Let's All right, see. yeah. What's okay. up, round boys? Round boys rule, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> Once you go around, you never come down. That's all there is to it. Oh. That's right. Got man. a little catchphrase. Ralphie, right. yeah, you had the staple one job, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I couldn't I guess afford I'm a quitter. that shit. You're a quitter. Don't be a quitter. Come on, man. <laughs> no, really, I, I couldn't afford that shit. So I got the second one. That's where they stapled my hands to my thighs. It was rough. <laughs> KFC was pissed. <laughs> they fired half the staff. <laughs> it's all about how you feel about yourself, people. Look around at my people surrounding me. All right, there ain't enough of them to surround me, but honestly, they're here. You know, and it's, look, they get picked on all the time. I got picked on as a kid, too. It's about how you look. You know, how about you feel? It's not about how you look. It's how you feel. But there is some shit out there that's very strange. Have you seen the new things with the young girls? They're walking around with the shorts with the little shit written on their heinies? Mm -hmm. I like that. I did. I saw this girl walking around. She had on the back of her ass that said, juicy. <laughs> juicy ass. You really want to deal with juicy ass? <laughs> I thought first it was a warning, like, stay back five feet, juicy ass. Beep, beep. No, man, juicy ass is what you get when you come home from Mexico. You don't want to deal with that shit. <laughs> Honey, it's still a little moist. Stick it out the window. The cat just ran out the room, all right? Yeah, baby. I was shopping around Christmas time. I was in the mall. I'm walking around. This chick's got a pair of sweatpants on. On the back of it, it says, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, yo, bitch. You got my wife's pants. She's going to want them back, all right? The best one was down the shore, man. I'm on the boardwalk, and I see a chick with a giant ass walking down. But that's all right with the round boy. But across the back of her shorts, she had written the word anal. I know. That's what I thought. Like, anal. Talk about advertising. When I looked at it closer, she didn't even spell it right. It was spelled A-N-E-L. And that's when it hit me, people. It didn't say anal. It said angel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the G. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, it is. You got to think about that joke. Oh, yeah. That's a joke you got to think man. about. Yeah. It's deep. It's deep. That's a thinking Tony, man's joke. Tony, the G was up her fucking ass, man. Up her fucking ass. You didn't get the fucking joke, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's I didn't know. The yeah. short bus comedy tour, people. There you yeah. go. Short yeah. bus comedy. Got to hand it to all these guys. It's a tough room, man. Yeah, to just is. walk it's in and try to do a couple you know jokes. I mean? Now, how long does the show last? Like fucking 32, 33 seconds? <laughs> no. We're doing an hour and a half show, and it kicks off at 9 p.m. April 13th. Left. Hour and a half show. It's going to feel like three yeah. hours. Jeez. That means 20 minutes of comedy, and the rest of the time is waiting for them to get on the stage. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, the last factory now has a uh, ramp installed. Uh, <laughs> and you're the host? You're hosting it? Yeah, I'm hosting it. We are, now, that's going to be our official short bus comedy show, but Jimmy and I and Tim actually, actually all four of us will be doing, like I guess, you know, just run-through shows. We'll be doing two shows coming up March 18th in Philadelphia at the Comedy Cabaret, then March 25th in Cherry Hill, Jesus New Jersey. Jesus Christ. So that's going to be like us getting yeah, feel the groove of yeah, is a fucking, uh, uh, he's amazing. <laughs> all right, let's get the plugs get out for the websites. Uh, uh, Laughterbylou.com. You can forget all the information on our schedule and, and the ringtones uh, ringtones are coming out soon right. the same thing round boy you got a website com. yeah jimmygram.net just All like right. a cracker and then mike has a website funnymanmike.com yep. 
And what, and what about uh, Tim? Uh, TimGrill.com. TimGrill.com. Thank you so much. Good job, right, guys. Thank you very Thank much you. for having us here. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank having you. us. Great All right. room. Thank you. We will uh, continue in just a bit here. In studio, Ralphie May today. Playing hey, kids. Bananas this weekend. Yes, sir. Starting tonight? No, uh, Friday. And Hasbro Heights or uh, Poughkeepsie on Friday and Hasbro Heights on uh, Saturday. Got a phone number? None. Zero. All I right. stink. <laughs> and, of course, Patrice O'Neill. And there was uh, some controversy going on uh, during the commercial break, Anthony. Well, uh, Opie, during the break, uh, the <laughs> Pal Talk people are privy to our conversations in here. We go to a uh, break. The show never ends. The show never ends. For the uh, Pal Talkers. The Pal Talkers uh, can hear what we're talking about. We can see them. They can see us. And they hear our, our discussion. And sometimes we discuss perhaps what we will talk about during the next segment of the show. It's how this show works. So we started talking about uh, the Pope, and uh, the Pope has an iPod. And that's in the paper. That made the news. And then we're speculating as to if he really does, uh, what's on it, things like that. And then it turns out that the uh, New York Post decided to do a funny, clever little thing. What could be on the Pope's uh, iPod? And I'm yeah. sure it's hysterical, like every bit of comedy that yeah. the New York Post tries. A lot of gangster rap. Yeah, I'm sure. A lot of gangster rap. Uh, well, during that little conversation we were having, uh, somebody on Pal Talk just writes, Pope equals boring. He is, as we're talking about doing the bit, we're not even sure we're going to do it. We're not sure we're doing it. We're not sure how it's going to go. We weren't doing the bit. We were discussing whether we should even, like, touch on it. He decided... It was boring. And that we should maybe think about doing something and else. That, and that, oh boy. His name, Killed at Birth. Killed at Birth. And uh, I've already have him set up. <laughs> He's changing his uh, I have right his name now. up there on the, on the, uh, you think it's the bounce list? No, my friend. It is the ban list. Jeez. And the guy, when you're bounced from the room, you can come back in 24 hours later. This guy knew that he was in trouble, and he, he got out of that he, room. That's and he's now right. in another room, and Anthony's just chasing him in cyberspace <laughs> with that fucking gun. And with the World War boom. II rifle. There we go. Banned. <laughs> when you're bounced, you can get back in 24 hours later. When you're banned, you must beg me. To take you off the ban list. I've had people write to my MySpace account and go, Anthony, please, I bought uh, Pal Talk just for your show. You banned me because I IM'd you. I wasn't sure of the rules. I'm not, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to IM you. That's a big rule because, and here's why. Sometimes girls are putting on shows on this thing. Yeah. And, and a girl is ready to stick a dildo up her ass. And bing, the picture's covered with, hi, what's up? Ugh. And oh, instantly, <laughs> instantly banned. So uh, people know I, not to I am me. How do you? Because I got banned from a couple of spots. Already. How do you get unbanned? How do you go? Wait, please? why did you get banned? Because I know you're going to the real dirty sites, man. You, well, what are you doing to get banned? Well, I told you. In big fat yeah, black big, bitch yeah. takes it up the oh, ass. Come on, big black bitch, let me in. <laughs> I told you that fucking uh, there was a skinny girl on, you know. She, yeah. she was typing and, and, and wrote, you know, hey, why are you in the B why are you in the big black bitches room, girl? You too skinny. She goes, I like the music. Oh yeah, fat bitches do have great music. Bing God. And how do I get in touch with the head of the fat black bitch uh, uh a room? All of a sudden you're just sitting there and all your all your cameras freeze that you're watching and go, Hey, what's what's the problem? It all my cameras are uh there. and then the little prompt, you have been bounced from the room. Hey, Hi, fat bitches. Hello, there's only 21 people in your room. You can, can, can I watch you fat hoes for a minute? And they kicked you out. You can either they get it. You can either. Uh, you see, it's easy for us. That. They can just go to my MySpace or something like that and write, you know, hey, I fucked up. Can I get back well, on? How do you get back in? You're the king of pal talk, nigga. How do I get? How do I find the fat bitch that got me out of there? I don't know. You either got to go under another name or account, get into that room, and then plead your case. To the head muckety to, to muck of the me, room. If I go back in there as another name, I'm going to go, it's me again, you fat bitch. And I'll just keep coming back as another name. Bing. <laughs> Goodbye. Bing. Good day, sir. Well, this I said good day. This Pope thing could be something because it's uh, the Pope. No, it can't, Opie. It's, it's the Post. Uh, it's the New York Boring. Post trying to be funny, though, with their with their writing. Uh-huh. Uh, Pope grooves with new iPod. Guess you could call him the iPope. Ah, come on, see the iPope. <laughs> 
Because it's uh, P I and then P O, and then the joke falls apart. Pope Benedict has an iPod loaded with his favorite tunes. No, the, he doesn't. The pencil thin, ultra trendy iPod Nano in papal white. Oh, uh, instead of demonic black, the other color it comes in. Of course, was presented to His Holiness by Vatican radio staffers. This is a Vatican radio station. Hey. Pumping out all the hits. Yeah. Don't, don't bash them. KTEL Records and Tapes presents the best of the Pope. Uh, track one. <laughs> Traffic is uh, really Don't. rough out there. You remember you such know. hits as <laughs> the clouds parted the light shone down upon the traffic and it was divided. <laughs> you remember such hits as pigeons flying. <laughs> Ooh, doves. Bells nice. ringing. <laughs> Enchanting. With bonus track, Tuber LaBelle's <laughs> from The Exorcist. Well, you guys want to guess what's in the iPod because they uh, loaded it up with some samples. He sampling of the station's an programming iPod. in English, Italian, and German. Stairway to Heaven. It also Let's contains have... digital downloads of religious music <laughs> and compositions by Beethoven, Mozart, uh, Chopin. Yeah, uh, all the big Tchaikovsky. Germans because he's a Nazi. Yeah. And Stravinsky. Yeah. He loves all the Nazis. Where's his Wagner hits? Hitler speeches yeah. on there. Yeah. Let me, uh, Nick Heil. What, what's this under this uh, track uh, 18? <laughs> uh, Pope, what, you, you might want to delete that of your iTunes. A picture, a, a adopted picture uh, of Jesse Owens losing in the, in the 32 Olympics. <laughs> you want to hear how, how out of touch the Pope is? And except in the two uh, gigabyte gadget, the pontiff noted that computer technology is the future. <laughs> oh, wow, you're really ooh, going out on a limb there. That's a statement from 52. <laughs> Where computer technology, as I show you the Univac computer, it takes up an entire room. That should have been the end of war games. At the end, the, the yeah. quote from the Pope. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Shall we play a game? Shall we play a song? <laughs> Computers are the future. <laughs> <laughs> what an ass. And he of apparently wants to be part of that future. Rather than stick the gift in a drawer, the Pope's been spotted around the Vatican wearing Apple's trademark white earphones. <laughs> he's walking around with his, with his earbuds in. Oh. Here. No, he's not. He, I cannot imagine with a, it. With an inside pimp uh, cell phone pocket on his fucking roll. With the <laughs> 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 They're playing some 50 cent when it rings. He's got his ringtones. Uh, Next he's going to get pal talk. out here. You see the pal Pope on Pal Talk? I'm bouncing him for being dirty to the girls, <laughs> begging for tits. <laughs> he is very pleased with the iPod, said a Vatican spokesman, adding that he likes to unwind listening to it. <laughs> How much does the Pope have to unwind? He's unwound. He's There's the Pope. nothing. He's the Pope. He's what the center he... tranquility. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's that. not known what, if anything, he's personally uploaded to his playlist. His Nano has a 500-song capacity, so there's plenty of room. Mm -hmm. If he's interested, the Post has some contemporary suggestions. All right, strap in. Now, everyone, put Here on the laughing the hat because this is going to be hilarious. Did you guys see this article? No. No. All right, why don't you try to guess uh, one of the songs that will be in the uh I the said Post Stairway icon. to Heaven. Uh, Stairway. Stairway give to me Heaven. That, give me yeah. Stairway to Heaven? Stairway. Oh, wouldn't be a morning uh, show without a wacky mail. The Post uh, has uh, suggested that he upload, yes, yeah, Stairway to Heaven. What else? Oh, uh, these are their suggestions. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, they're so cute Women and Beneath funny. My Wings? No. No. Yeah. The boys are back in town. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rate our love? No. <laughs> no. No, nothing like that, huh? Hmm. Mm. Anyone? Damn. Mm. I think that guy was right. Think? Um, All right, here we go. <laughs> um, uh, this this is the post. <laughs> this is the post and their contemporary suggestions. All right. The monkeys, I'm a believer. Oh, because he's a See, that's, that's hope and that's he believes. Cute. When I saw her face, he's, now I'm a believer. <laughs> oh. It's Joe Cocker guy from uh, American Idol singing, <laughs> I'm a believer. <laughs> Dion, I'm a believer. believer. He gonna sing them all. Dion Warwick, I say a little prayer. I say a little prayer for Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, mm -hmm. Coldplay, God, put a smile on your face. George Harrison, my sweet Lord. Jesus, take the wheel. Queen, oh. Queen, the miracle. 
I don't think he would have. I don't any think any queen's queen gonna be on there. <laughs> he, 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 he doesn't want to acknowledge Bohemian that queen Rhapsody. Existed. Yeah. Uh, Bob Marley and the Whalers, Redemption Song, Ike and Tina Turner, Proud Mary, what? Billy Holiday, God Bless the Child, The Beatles, Lady Madonna. And the Doobie Bros. Jesus oh, is just all right. And you right. just know they had sixty-five interns just research. Like, Find God, and every God Jesus song, song. God. not a laugh to be had oh, in that list. Nothing. Awful. Maybe I should unban that. Uh, maybe I should unban un fucking guy. Let him back. He in. was right. <laughs> Let's go to Sean in Iowa. <laughs> hey, you figured they have uh, George Michael. Got to have faith for him. Nothing. Car crash. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> These guys want us to do the hacky radio bit that I, I bet every morning show in America is doing today. <laughs> Guess what songs are in the Pope's iPod, everybody? <laughs> Let's say hi to Jason in Arizona. Jason. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Um, by the way, I'm I'm removing Killed at Birth's ban. There we go. Uh, there were a couple laughs in there. Yeah. Uh, Jason. Yeah. Um, I wonder if he's got some Kanye West on there, uh, Jesus Walks. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is, it's just like, dude, this is, where's where the bit, though, that every radio station I, I, will Jesus do. Jesus Walks. Every morning show in America is doing this bit today. And I heard this bit on uh, Goomba Johnny and the other guy. Did you really? Yeah, I did. But they're taking it seriously, right? right? And then probably someone called and said, how about sympathy for the devil? <laughs> ah, see, because it's <laughs> the Pope, but he wouldn't uh, have that. Well, uh, I just, I just from yesterday's show with the Voss, Yeah. I, I moved up Voss to my number one. I moved Dad number three on my <laughs> MySpace. Yeah, Voss killed yesterday, and he, he called everyone. Killed. To, he called everyone to to tell him too. Yeah, he, he let everyone me know. Dinner. He said I was I was hilarious. Oh, I was but hilarious. when he, was when hilarious. he said that he number two. He fucking put. Uh, he said moving to the girl's uterus because it's empty. Oh, I know. That was a great line. Yeah, that was great. That's what he quoted show. to me. Brutal. Oof. Thank you. Good night. That was his closer. <laughs> Oof. Damn, Voss, I hate when he kills on this show. Bastard. Let's see, uh, Personal Jesus, Iron Man by Sabbath, Long Time by Boston, Jesus Take the Wheel. Oh, this is all... Yeah. We're not doing this bit. Jesus, Jesus. Taylor. Oh, he's out of here. I want my $20 tomorrow, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got a bet, my man. Remember that. Oh, of what? course. On American, American Idol. Idol bet. Oh, the little skinny the dude thing. is not going to go. I don't think they're going to throw out the little fucking Tweety Bird looking guy. I'm not going to do it. It's it's so going to happen. Oh, no, sir. I'm they're collecting throwing out money. the black guy with the teeth. As soon as that rage and Bobby machine, Brady. music starts tomorrow, I want you boys to hand over your 20s. All right. All right. Likewise, I'm sure. What else uh, are we talking about today? Britney Spears supposedly is pregnant again. Even more white she's trash. She's white trash, man. Than yeah. she could ever be. She's out white trash. Where's her two Regular top? white trash. Yeah, picture. Yeah. I find her to be fucking really sexy right now. Of course you do. I just you like she's got like, another really? bun in the oh, oven. Just a pig. Another Look at baby Look at that coming. Fat fucking ass and how. Just what a uh, raggedy, old soggy, milky tits. She was at like the hottest peak of her career as being yeah. hot, and and, so, and then she just fatted herself up with uh, with a having baby. kids with a guy that doesn't give a shit about her. No, it's amazing. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Jesus, that's that's white trash, man. That's All beautiful, way, right? She rad. Awesome. <laughs> you see how guys? You see how? This is what I'm saying. You see how men can influence a woman to do anything? Bobby yeah. Brown cracked up. One of the gr all-time great singers of our, she of our was, age. Did you yeah. see the latest video of Whitney Houston coming back from the Olympics? I, think I it was? didn't hear that fucking oh, thing. I heard she was horrendous. Crap. You see where a woman will follow a man to? Hell. Yeah. Hell. That's exactly and where she went. You see where she's following this fucking gypsy? She's fucking Britney Spears. Is, this guy's a gypsy. And he'll fuck anybody. Mm -hmm. he, he he got a black girl pregnant. He's going to get a Puerto Rican girl pregnant. Britney is now going to be in a trailer park. Yep. She's a <laughs> fucking mess. And she's and it's, she's, she's from Louisiana. Him. I mean, it's not like she's like going a whole different route than what she was destined to go to. I That's mean, true. Like, she is sticking. <laughs> she's staying loyal yeah, she's to her staying, upbringing. <laughs> she knows she's didn't from. change her. Yeah. She had it beat for a minute. She was the, the little diva with, um, what's the other one, Aguilera, yeah. who is also on the road to destruction because she can't help it either. Oh, she's she? a host. oh her fucking boyfriend is, just, you can see. Well, she's, I think she's married now, actually. Yeah, oh, I think she's she married, right. that dude. So she'll be pregnant soon. Oh, look at her. Just, oh, just, just with that gut. And, that gut and, and she puts a big belly button ring in there like people want to oh, see it. Look at those jeans. Look at that fat ass. 
Oh, you don't like titties are no, sagging. Man. Oh, just can you imagine just teabagging Britney right now? Mm, probably just, got a good chance of doing yes. it. Yes, and I can imagine the five dollars it'd take to do so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she five bucks, five bucks like, teabag, oh. and she's so she's Oops, so I did it again. She got five billion in the bank, and she'll put the five in there in her bank account. <laughs> now I got five billion and five. Hey, <laughs> hey remember <laughs> Tiffany was big at one point. You know, remember Tiffany? Tiffany, oh, yeah. yeah. And she, uh, <laughs> that was a career. Oh, yeah. well, she was. She was big at one point. And where'd she end up? Do, uh, naked and Playboy. Uh, uh, passed when anyone wanted to see her naked. Yep. And that's what Britney's going to Snowboarding with the c- celebrities. She'll be yeah. on that soon. <laughs> she could at least throw us a bone and, and, and pose for Playboy before she, uh, you know, went down the uh, old motherhood oh, route. Britney? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's just a hog, and I love her. She should. But women should do that. Get pictures. And you notice you these? Know, they do that sometimes. They freeze their eggs so later on they could uh, have kids when they're maybe older or something. Or th- th- she's not whatever. committed. She's not committed to show Take business. Take nude pictures of yourself. She don't want to. the kids. She's made all her money. She's she's not committed because you like a bitch like Angelina Jolie. She's mm-hmm. pregnant, but that bitch don't feed that baby. That motherfucking baby. It's gonna come out. It's gonna be one pound, one ounce, because <laughs> she, she picked up smoking. Not gonna, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow still has those pigeon arms. All the Kate Holmes with the herpes, she pigeon arms. This bitch is a, is a mama. She's yeah. a she is somebody's she is mama. childbearing body. It's built for childbearing. That's it. <laughs> it's gonna be dirty diapers in a mansion. Fuck it. Angelina Jolie is gonna see a ha- what's the what's the least amount of time the baby has to spend in her womb <laughs> and live. Right. Like Doc, is there a chance like three months you could take it out and the machines can do the rest? Because I really don't want much of a paunch here. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Miss Smith too coming up. Like, yeah, I really I'm gonna be busy. <laughs> She'll be. She'll be in labor for four seconds. That baby will pop out like a fucking balloon that they oh. let the air out of. That baby's going to come out the pussy like... <laughs> All right, catch it by the ass, please. And this fucking... <laughs> Angelina, don't give a shit about the pregnancy. You can see Britney doesn't care about show business. Show yeah. business is big. To Angelina and Gwyneth, oh, show business all is big. Yeah. Julia Roberts, you go, when was this bitch pregnant? Yeah. I know, but my girl got a baby. She's still trying to get rid of the, the, the fucking lasagna that she got. <laughs> She's lasagna. still she, 85 crunches an hour to get rid of the lasagna, and it ain't going nowhere. No. <laughs> and these women, yeah. These stars, they snap He's right at home back. crunching snap away back. as you do the radio show. Man. <laughs> You'll see a picture of a celebrity, like, like yeah, who's Julia Roberts or something, uh, a little pregnant. <laughs> And then the next picture is her with washboard abs pushing a stroller. Yeah, she's got like six kids. Yeah, all of a sudden. got a bunch of kids. Uh, she's with washboard abs, and uh, supposedly what they do is they they induce uh, at eight months, and because the last yeah. month is where they get the uh, that's where the, the damage, the, the lasagna as as damage, and they gain a lot of weight. <laughs> and then they induce at eight months. You hear the rumor about Katie Holmes? That's all over Hollywood. Uh, but no one's engaged to a gay guy. Herpes. Why? Yeah. No one's willing to. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus, which one? I, I heard a bunch of them. No one's willing to go with. The story but supposedly she's not pregnant at all and she's just wearing a thing stop it and it's gonna come out that uh you know they're gonna adopt something or uh how, do, how long do you keep that a joke there's gotta be an oh, end like plan a, like a miscarriage or some stupid or shit. some kind of miscarriage it's is gonna too happen. late for a miscarriage so it's it, too late i'm telling you that's the that is like a serious rumor that's going on around in hollywood but no one's willing to go with it they got it with that supposedly there's a website the, where's the rumor going around the, no, no there's a website maybe someone could help me in the uh office then they have to go they, somewhere they and pictures, adopt pictures they got pictures of the apparatus. No way. Or what looks like it could be an apparatus under a clothes. Might be one of those Scientology wraps or something. Who knows yeah. what the hell they put around so these people bitches. Are not Constantly, a... like, letting L. Ron Hubbard recordings go into the her room. They're very enough? suspicious about that. Have you gotten big enough in Hollywood where you got approached? Have you yeah. gotten approached by them? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, You're I dead. did. When I when I was out there uh, before last comic, I was uh, I would dig acting classes over there because they're good acting classes, but they're only like six dollars, and then they try to indu- induct you. Or, uh, but since then, I've I've been approached several times. I, How did, I did they a come show. up to you? How did they do that? They were like, uh, I was uh, Damn, one time I was in the creepy. I was in the green room of the Wayne Brady show, and uh, um, one of them I I forget which one it was. It's one of the big ones. Was doing Wayne Brady, and he goes, so. Um, uh, how's your career going? It's 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 wonderful, really. Do you uh, do you go to church? Are you religious? I go no no not really. You know, I remember the church was happening now. I'm down for weed, you know, food. I'm cool with all that shit. And uh, well, uh, have you ever thought about the Church of Scientology? Oops. Oh boy. Um, 
and it got it got real creepy real quick. It was like like the room went dark a little bit. <laughs> little like, L. Ron Hubbard. Uh, did you hear Jamie Foxx's story with Tom Cruise? No. The one when when they did uh collateral collateral, and Tom Cruise is trying to get him to join, and Jamie's trying to like be hot, you know, like get right. along. It's, you can't just go get out of here with your goofy crazy shit. shit, nigga. <laughs> we don't play that shit up in the hood, motherfucker, because it is Tom Cruise, you know. Right. So, but Tom Cruise, I heard, I guess I have to say all allegedly, mm -hmm. he sent a check. In um in Jamie Foxx's name to the Church of Jesus Christ the the, the Scientology. Scientology yeah wow. and Jamie Foxx is like dude that was the falling out that they had like really look, That's I don't what mind you is. doing what you're doing but don't fucking don't bring me in it ain't this. like Tom Cruise wants to bring them all in he, yeah. he, he does cursed out, cursed out Brooke Shields I mean uh, yeah but, 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 yeah Brooke about Shields. the uh depression and medication. You know, he doesn't believe in psychology and, and yeah, things like that. Yeah, it's all psychiatry. And all that so, shit. yeah, so he's just, he is like so deep into it. Uh, and you can tell any word that comes out of his mouth that isn't written on a script uh, to a movie, he's he's crazy. Yeah, he's nuts, man. Yeah. That and, guy is nuts. And I'd follow That's why he hasn't got an Oscar. I, I yeah. would, I would yeah. follow it if once they did something that was worth. Did everything they do stinks. I read Dianetics back when they used to L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron I didn't Hubbard. Know it was a science, like a fucking religion. Dianetics. And 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 it's not like a self help Earth. book or something. Did you see Battlefield Earth? Oh, the, the, oh the movie that movie was, was so bad. That's it supposed to be oh. worse. Dude, movie that's supposed to be what ever. the religion's all about. Yeah, that's supposed to be what happened. They actually, that's like a historical fuck. Like you watch uh, something like the, the, our religion with, you know, the Ten Commandments, watching fucking Heston. I bring to thee these Ten Commandments. That's their fucking Ten Commandments. <laughs> 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 fucking spaceships and movies and aliens and, and gold. Yeah. And John Travolta and giant that's boots. That's their fucking shit. Star boots. Wars. Is their religion? Uh, in they're nuts, boots. dude. Yeah. They're nuts. <laughs> movie was ridiculous. I did a girl before ridiculous. my wife. Uh, uh, girl named. T I'm not gonna say her name, but she got into that stuff and she's just gone. Yeah. She tried to. She was like, I already I was dated well above my level, like way, way above. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I did it either. And um, you didn't but, even let us uh, say that line, Jesus. I, I, I don't have to. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying this for you. Know. <laughs> you know what it is. What's too? their principles? Though? Uh, their They're principle nuts. is that in every one of us, there are these bad things, these uh, uh, bad like energy. Little, well, there's like they're like the little nanos or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, little yeah. bad energy that was left because. Um, we were here uh, many, many years ago, and an alien race came over here and uh, uh, blew up the planet with atomic bombs and killed everybody. But the the particular matter is evilness, and it's in all of us still. And in order to cl cleanse the body, you have to go through these different phases of Scientology. Yeah, and it, and it's like a, like to get to these different levels, you have to like give money. Oh, it's huge amounts of money. Like, yeah, and then you hold on to these wacky contraptions like tin cans and wires and blinking lights, and that clears your uh, your spirit of these. Uh, what's all the rumors and, about uh, like all the stuff like uh, Travolta's and all like all this weird sex and it's got a retarded kid or something? They keep it a cage really? or something. Yeah, that's all yeah, the rumors. That. Like like they have these sex parties and then they. <laughs> wow. Travolta, well, they, did, uh, Ralphie's going to be on a plane, and Travolta's going, this is your captain speaking. Hey, what's up, Yeah, Ralphie? John Travolta. Yeah, yeah. Heard what you said about me on the Open and Anthony show. We have uh, six parties with Double J in the back of the car on the Verrazano Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here, Yeah, unfortunately. Awesome. Patrice O'Neill, thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Web Junk 20 on VH1, of course. And uh, Ralphie May at Bananas. In Poughkeepsie, Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday in Hasbrook Heights. And next week I'm at the uh, Miami Improv. So Friday you're at Bananas in Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Saturday, Bananas. Hasbrook Heights. Hasbrook Heights with Ralphie May. Got Very it. good. All right, guys. Great uh, great job, everybody. Once again, Patrice, always a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Ron Fez up next. Check him out. Thanks. Program complete.